Hello and welcome to Coach Row for the Sports Lighting Devon Premier Cup. I'm joined by the Chairman of the Cups Committee, Mark Bewley. Mark, how are you doing? All right? I'm doing very well, thank you. Yeah. I've got to remember to hand this microphone over when I, when I stop speaking. Um, it's, a, it's a new setup for us to... Well, we used to do it years ago, didn't we, I think? Did indeed, yeah. yeah. I've yeah. seen many of them where you were here doing this. I was the County Secretary, Cup Secretary for 12 years. For many years, I remember. When I first joined, you were doing County Cups. I was just a, I was a little whippet at the front. Um, so we've got, we've got Beer Albion and North Moulton today. And as we can see, as we look around, the ground is pretty full already. We've got over half an hour to kick off. I know. Uh, when I walked past the gate about 20 minutes ago, there were already 330 people in here. 330. We're going well. We're going yeah. well. The bar is busy. Um, the stand will be full. It's a, it's a warm day as well. I can feel the heat already coming off the surface so if it looks like we're combusting over here don't worry the picture will keep running and either Jace my colleague Jace or Rich will just jump in and start talking over us the, heat, the heat's coming off the rubber crumb is immense yes. isn't it oh yes, dear really. I'm, I'm, I'm imagining the referee's going to have a couple of water breaks in the, each half I'd, I'd be asking for it I think I if I was out there so we've got we've got the, the teams are already in what have we what have we got Mark you've got the teams there Got the teams here, yeah. I'll reel, reel them off, shall I? Be yeah. So in the Beer Albion team, we've got Elliot Driver in goal, uh, Liam Cox, Charlie Ledger, Jack Harwood, Joe Adkin, George Harwood, Chris Long is the captain, Charlie Skilton, Alex Padgett, Taylor, Taylor Rook and Tony Pinder. On the bench for Beer Albion today is Josh French, Ashley Driver, Will House, Brooklyn Wilkins and Max Richardson. We'll go through the quickly the North Moulton team as well. In goal for them is James Campbell, Jack Moses, Dylan Williams, Luke Turner, jo who is the captain, Joshua Stoneman, Andrew Alexander, Callum Hutchings, Adam Jarrett, James Gifford, Harley Ashdown and Luke Thorne. Their substitutes are Matthew Tapp, Alfie Nichols, Jordan Nibs, Josh Wren, Joe Southcott. Just as we get our photo taken to the left, <laughs> of course, there's cameras from everywhere today. Uh, the big trophy is in front of us, Mark. It looks like a replica, doesn't it, of the FA Cup? It does a little bit, doesn't it? I, I love this. This is the old Premier Cup, pre-Cole Throgmorton days. He bought a uh, Premier Cup, yeah. which has got his name on it. He's finished sponsoring now, so we've, we've resurrected the old one, and it looks really good, I've got to say. It's a very, it's a very smart trophy. Uh, one of these teams will be taking it back to either North Devon or East Devon, is it, yeah. as well? Yeah, North Devon and East Devon. North yeah. Devon and East Devon. So they've come a long way, but... Have they? Uh, they well. They are so well supported. We said already, it's but um, grassroots cup final. it is. Sides playing each other, and it looks like both villages could be empty. So the last one out, Tell switch the lights switch off. Switch the lights off, please. <laughs> and if you are, well, I mean, if you if you're hearing this, you're probably one of those. Yeah, if you're if you're hearing this, you're probably one of the ones that did not come on the bus. Um, the teams are going in now. Uh, this is North Moulton. They've got quite a lively support as well. <laughs> Why not? Oh, it's great. As long as they behave themselves and there's no bad language, no aggressiveness, we'll be very happy. And they look very happy at the moment. They look very happy. I think, you know, in from half, uh, from half past 90 minutes on from then, you'll, you'll be wondering whether they'll still be as happy. So we've got sports lighting here today as well. I mean, I say here today, they're not here yet. Um, sponsors are always fashionably late. Uh, they're going to get here about two o'clock. But Sports Lighting are a floodlight company who put floodlights up. They do lux level testing. Uh, they've been a sponsor of us now for a good number of years, Mark, I think. It's got to be seven or eight, I would imagine. Seven or eight. They used to do the St. Luke's, didn't they, I think? St. Yeah. Luke's, yeah. And then they've, uh, I know the St. Luke's is the higher division teams, but this is really our showpiece, the Premier Cup. Yeah, I think so. With the amount so moved up to the showpiece, to be fair. The amount of entries that we get, and um, it's always hotly contested. Last year, it was a Mount Gould and Buckland Athletic Reserves final, I seem to remember, and I think Mount Gould won that 2 0. Um, a very good game again. I think that was a warm day. Not as sunny as today, uh, but it was a warm one, uh, as you would hope this time of year. I'm looking up at the cameras, they seem to be half there chatting to each other, so that's good. Um, so we yeah we just we're just counting down really. Um, yeah, half an hour to go. As we said, the ground is full. Yeah, so um, people are waving. I don't know if they're waving at us. I don't think they're waving at us. The officials behind us. Obviously, the Premier Cup's a big one for them to get. Yeah. Lo local referee Luke McFarlane, uh, level four. Yeah. Excellent referee. 
and he's ably assisted. I can't see who the others are at the moment from this. Gary, Gary Hammond's out there, Sam Gill's out there, and Paul Rocky Allen, a favourite of ours. Oh, he's Rocky Allen, yeah, he's a great servant to the FA, both on and off the pitch. He was a player for many years, and now he's one of our top officials. So I take it he's the fourth official. So we know that having we know that having Rocky out there means that we have one less viewer on Facebook and YouTube because he's always following it on Facebook and YouTube. As uh, so I look up at Rich Mason in his pyjamas yeah. and Jason Hayward's waving as well so they can hear us, which is good. Apprentice Cups competition secretary. He's not doing a bad job. No, he's not. He's not at all. Um, and it's a, it's, a, it's a difficult job, isn't it, as you well know. It um, it, to be fair, it's a full-time job on its own. So, yeah, he's doing a great job mixing that up with his media and his... Um, IT support, is, it's not an easy job and he's doing a great job. I'm only going to say that once, I'm not going to repeat it. <laughs> the thing is, if we, if we don't say things like that, he'll cut us off. So, and then we just look like two loners. He's cut us already? No, he hasn't. No, no, we're still going. Um, yeah, so I just, you know, like we said, counting down, uh, do you have any memories of last year's final? No, only that it was quite a well-contested final. Um, there were a few tackles flying around, I remember, but... Ryan Stanbridge sent off yes. in front of, just in front here. Yeah. Um, for, for I think well, in the end it was two two yellows, but the second one could have yeah. been a straight red. A straight red, yeah, but Mount Gould were a very, very good side, uh, you know, and they on the day they were the better team, so... They've gone up, haven't they, to compete well in the DFL, I think. I just hope that it's a nice uh, sporting game today and we don't have any red cards. Yeah, I mean, we're, be talking about the we're coming to the end of our cup finals now and we haven't had a red card yet, so let's hope that continues. That's a crazy stat, that, to be fair. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not even really had anything that kept, comes close to it, have we? Uh, obviously, at the county here, we're a bit upset by that because <laughs> the wages are going down. <laughs> no, joking, of course. Um, so, yeah, so Sports Lighting, the Sports Lighting Premier Cup. Um, we just, like we said, what, what are they saying in there now, then, do you think? Are they nerves or...? I should think the managers probably have said all they need to say to them. Um, I would imagine it's just calming their nerves, getting them settled down because, you know, nerves can play a really bad influence on you as well as a good influence. So we, they need to be calmed down, settled down, come out, just get the feel of the pitch and the ball and, and just play the game that they've planned for over the last few weeks. Just play their normal game, isn't it? Really? Yeah, it's a difficult one, isn't it? Because I, I noticed, we noticed standing around and stuff that they were out so early to warm up. They were here early. It's a hot day. You hope they haven't expended too much energy already. Uh, nervous energy and stuff, but um, yeah, I imagine that the they'll just be running through the last couple of things. We've still got, well, we've got 20, looking at the big clock, 25, 20, 20 minutes 25 before they come out. Before they come out. Um, it's very strange thing that the grandstand is very, uh, very empty. Yeah. I don't know, yeah, is that a strange thing or not? I'm not sure. <laughs> I think if we went in the bar, I don't think we'd probably, maybe, maybe we should go in there. No, no, we won't, we won't. <laughs> <laughs> Richie looks like he's running to the bar, but um, yeah, they'll do some good, do some good bit. I know, crikey, he's a, he, Sometimes it looks like he's trying to talk back, but he's too far away. Uh, so yeah, uh, the two villages are out well in force. Dudley Fruits coming over. I hope he's not coming to chat. The ex yeah, he's the ex-chairman. Yeah, he's the ex-chairman. Looks like he's he's on a mission somewhere. Um, so it's just yeah, looking around the ground. It's it, it's funny, isn't it? How these couple we'll find by. <laughs> he don't want to speak. Ali doesn't want to speak, but Ali's got a new podcast out, I think. It, uh, they, they doesn't have a new podcast out at all. Uh, that's just a rumour. Uh, he's got a YouTube channel coming out as well. So look on there. You're, if you're watching the game on YouTube, maybe open it. Ah, right, the modestphotographer.com. All sorts of tales of... Absolutely. Well, they, you heard it there first, if you could. Um, one of our unsung heroes. You know, you, you mentioned the volunteers helping at the games. Ali's been, been doing cup finals here since the first year that I did them, which is so it's pretty much 12. I, I couldn't agree more. The, the, the output and the, the photographs and everything else are absolutely fantastic. Yeah, they are. They're, they're of the best, probably, that, I, that you see yeah, of coverage. Yeah, and he puts he puts 100% into everything he does um, and 
you can see the results on the website every week we've had cup finals they've been just absolutely brilliant photographs you can't really people love to don't they love to criticize us but you can't really criticize our coverage of county cups and county cup finals through all the way through so from from the cup draws in the early rounds that are live to now the, the coverage we give you here um, you got us two talking about rubbish a bit earlier than normal. Uh, we thought we'd get involved and try and get the driver viewership up. Jason Hayward's walking over, but what you know? You've got a fine mix of staff members and volunteers, um, and the, the staff members, all right, you know, they get paid for doing what they do, but they're actually volunteers today. Um, Jason on the commentary, you all do for nothing and the committee are so thankful to have you here with that media because I think we've got the best cup coverage and the best arranged cup finals of all the county FAs that I've been to and they all say how good ours is so there you go. I can yeah I, I have to agree I know it may say, sound a bit kind of big-headed to say but we definitely I think we definitely go above and beyond for our players but I think uh, as, as you said there Mark we're obviously our volunteers today but we love it we just love it. it. This is what it's all about. Coming, coming to work at a place like this. It's almost like the cup final family, isn't it? Yeah, you know, yeah. yeah, it's really good. It's building up. It builds yeah. itself up, doesn't it, over, over a few years. New people come into it and yeah. stuff. I think we've got Scott, a member of staff here today, who just can't yeah. get enough. And, he, and he's, on, he's, well. on kind of, he, he's on a kickstart programme with us, yeah. but he's come out of his own free will to come down today. Right. And he just loves it. He just he can't get enough. But it's like, see all the volunteers, the red shirts all around the ground. You know, they've come for nothing as well. Um, without them, we wouldn't be able to put on a show like we have. Even down to Paul Morrison, the CEO of the company. How many CEOs of the company would actually come and tannoy for us for most yeah. of the games? You know? You can't fault him. No, maybe. absolutely. He's brilliant as um, well. So, yeah. So, a big uh, shout out to Paul, who we have to do that, don't we? But a shout out to yourself as well. You did the tannoy earlier. And I must say, I thought the the quality was a was a step up from what we're used to. So, <laughs> so I will say that. But... The, the people that watch it on the whole love the commentary, the bit of jokes in around on the whole. You do get the odd complaint, but you know, you're never going to get away think, from that. I think it's worth noting as well that probably, and probably something that we shouldn't we say, we shouldn't have to. We're not, it comes across as though the coverage is great, but we're not a professional outfit. And the commentary is there just to kind of drive a bit of fun and have a bit of a laugh with people watching and give some shout outs as we did earlier to people that deserve shout outs so volunteers within clubs and stuff when we go back up there when the game starts if you want to get involved and commentate or you want us to come and film games and things like that we you know, and sponsor them as well um your name all over the all over the broadcast uh, our sponsor this year is elevate and elevate is a play development app um, a player development app that will improve younger players' tips, tricks, uh, drills, for the, especially for the summer months, but all the way through. And they've got professional players on there that will kind of demonstrate them. Um, I could have done with it in my time, to be fair, Mark. Yeah, I don't absolutely. Know about you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. A yeah. player in your time, but you could have improved. It, well, I wasn't great, mate, but I managed more than I played by the time I was 23, 24. Yeah, um, yeah but it's so improved so much over the years. Yeah. I think, I think this is more accessible now, you know, in those days they, you were in fear of them really, but, you know, it's great to see clubs actually getting on with County and, and I've tried to get a bit more joy yeah. with, the, with the council members and the, and the staff as well. Yeah, and it's, I think it's, there seems to be a good com camaraderie, doesn't there, between, well, between the two. Good committee now yeah. To be fair, they've made my life easy now because I've had to travel down from Bristol for both most cup finals. And I've come down and they've really got on with the work themselves. So, yeah, a shout out to everybody from media right down to ball boys. And on the subject of media, as I turn to my left, he's crept up on me like a Jason Hayward's here, like a gazelle. Jason, how is it? It's good. I've just come to tell you, we're going to interrupt you because we're going to do a special presentation for Mike Norman, okay. who's going to get his life membership at the Devon FA. So okay. that's what we're going to focus on. Shall we go up there? This is not my voice, by the way. <laughs> it may look, the stand may be looking at me thinking. Norman has been a very long standing council member who's now, I believe, the South Area, uh, sorry, the East Area coordinator.
but he's he's now of age where he becomes a life member and doesn't have to stand anymore. And that's what does a life member? What does that give you? That's what it's just a thank you for long service with the county FA, and he can attend cup finals. He can attend meetings without being elected by the clubs. It won't be long before you're a life member, then surely. Got about eight or nine years to go, mate. Eight or nine years to go, but you'll be there. I'm sure you'll be there. Hopefully. <laughs> Paul Frizzle's here as well. Uh, I think the one that I brought in. Paul Frizzle, I brought in to do cups with me 12 years, 13 years ago. He's an absolute legend. I remember yeah. I remember playing, when I used to play for Newton Abbott here, one of the first people I ever met when I was literally 14, 15 was Paul Frizzle. Um, he's quite a bit bigger oh, right. than... Yeah, yeah, he's, he's toned himself down, hasn't he? Oh, right. So, thank short. you very much, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Yeah, that's we why we wouldn't do give a him microphone. presentation on the pitch legend, while we like, wait for both teams. Say to come out onto the pitch with the match officials. And that is to recognise one of our council members who has served the Devon FA for a long, long time. In fact, it's now 22 years that he's been on the council. He comes from the east area of Devon, and that is a Mr. Michael Norman. Now, making the presentation you'll see there on the pitch, we have the Devon County FA Chairman, Mr. Bernard Leach, and the gentleman in the white shirt is the one and only Mike Norman. Now, Mike has served football for many years. He's heavily involved with refereeing from an assessor's point of view, support, mentoring. He's also the East Area Coordinator. And also for his sins, he helps the Devon Football League with their ground grading and all sorts of things that he tries to keep his fingers in, in grassroots football. So this is our memento because Mike is now a life member. There's not many of those. So Mike is now a life member of the Devon County FA. And this is our appreciation and support. So can I have a round of applause for Mike Norman. Mike Norman, please, ladies and gents. Michael's been a great servant for the Devon FA for many, many years. He's going to have his picture taken and there's some mementos for Mike to remember today. So well done, Mike Norman, our first presentation of the day. Thank you, folks. Right, so there you have it. Mike Norman got his Life, uh, life Membership Award, which is great. Uh, so that, and the subs of North Moulton are out. Yep, they are indeed. Still a good time to go till kick-off. <laughs> So there you know, they are. It's got. I was, I was saying to. Um, I was talking to Nobby Fisher, um, and I was saying it just feels like a big game today. It's got that. Feel. It's the crowd. Yeah. The crowd does definitely add something. Crowd, it makes so much difference. We we had a huge crowd for the women's um, premier. Which we always do, don't we? Really, the women's premier and seniors always well supported. Great as well. I, you know, I'm I think it makes it, doesn't it? It really does. And I'll be in amongst the crowd. I expect just making sure nobody's been misbehaving and. Because I believe the chairman should be part of the working group yeah. rather than standing around organising everything. So, absolutely, yeah. yeah. So it's going to be, um, yeah. Like I said, it's starting to feel a bit tense. Yeah. Um, it's going to be. I wonder what they. I just you wonder what they're saying now. It looks like the management staff come at, are out of North, North Moulton. So whether they're just lining up down there or I don't know. But it's um, yeah. It's an interesting tactic. This everything yeah. seems to have been done really early, yeah. and I, I I myself would have done everything really late because it's so hot yeah i think you're right yeah. i mean they what do they say when they go back in for such a long time you know i i, I tend to think 10 minutes before you've got to come out would be yeah. the limit because you can only say so much and too much and you're getting them all over over the, overdone yeah yeah overcooked almost Absolutely. yeah and like you've we got to be relaxed, haven't you? You, yeah you've got the first team to settle has got the advantage yeah definitely so we'll see yeah so um we are, we are, I'll just have a quick, I'm, I'm in doubt as to whether that works. So it's, it's, it's 13 minutes past, so we've got a qu quarter of an hour to go. Five minutes, ten minutes before they normally come up and line up, don't they? Yeah, Five they minutes. Um, they meet our guest, who's going to be Bernard Leach, the, yeah. the council chair, uh, chairman. Kim, Kim Presser should be around, shouldn't he, somewhere? Council chairman, I should yeah, say, and what a great supporter he's been of. How long's he, how long's he been in post? He's... Do you know he's a double life member? Isn't he? It's before I I started working here. He was the chairman, so yeah. He I know we've got some very outdated boards on our 
in our main reception area, and his name is still there as kind of. So it, it, he was, he's been a chairman for that long that he was on the board, <laughs> on that board that's yeah, so old. He's, he's such a hands-on chairman as well with the county. You know, he, I don't know what to say about him. There's so much you can say. He's been such a big, big supporter of county cup finals, rep teams, the staff. If he ever came into the office, he always made a point of coming and saying hello to everybody. He's just been one of the boys, really. Yeah, as know, he really has. As well as being able to be the chairman of the county as well. He's also, like I said, been one of the staff members. And I think like, be badly, badly badly. like you like you said, you, you kind of muck in, don't you, as the chairman of the Cups. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's the way to do it, especially at this sort of level. Um, we're all hands on deck, but that's how we work best, I think. Yeah, yeah that's it. You're a family, aren't you? Yeah, absolutely. You know? we, can't, we can't achieve anything on our own, so we're... I'm not going to go boxing people around and telling you've got to do this, you've got to do that. Yeah. So will you do it? Yeah. And Lisa I'll does that to you, doesn't she? she does. Yeah. I wouldn't do anything like that at all. You know, that, anything that I wouldn't do, I wouldn't make no, anybody else do. Yeah, Lisa's been a rock for me, I've got to say, especially the last five months. I was say, you've had some challenging personal times, haven't you? But um, and it's fun. Uh, it's f I'm not no. <laughs> but on from from the county, uh, it is much appreciated that whilst you have had such so much going on that you're still here with us, yeah. and you're here like you said on the almost on the front line. Somebody's shaking their head up in the grandstand. <laughs> it's a shame you can't. See little mini Barrett up there yeah, clapping Barrett away. Clapping. <laughs> Apparently, uh, Chris <laughs> Chris Davies. Yeah, yeah. Chris Davies sat in front. Um, and she tried to steal his hat. A minute ago, I'm told. Uh, so the, I'll just wave in there. Um, I think the steward's going to have to keep an eye on her, to be honest, because she's standing on a chair again. I have told her about that. Bless her. No, he's um, yeah, lovely. No, <laughs> bless her. So yeah, it's um, well, I don't know what more we've 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 talked it to death, haven't we? We've talked it to death. Um, I see Kim Presswood's up there. No, you're not. I know. We <laughs> we just, we just had. I, I knew we would. We'd have. We've had a shout from the stand saying we can't hear you, uh, thinking that we were the PA. We're not the PA. You'll be able to hear us on Facebook and YouTube. Um, we are. Yeah, as I said, we are live on Facebook and YouTube. If you're watching this and you know someone who has an interest or anything in kind of grassroots football or this, football at this standard, get them involved. Get them watching it. Like, share, comment. We'll do the usual player of the match stuff on there and everything. We'd just love to engage and interact with our with the community of football, really, isn't it? It's like our sponsors have arrived, or some of them, by the looks of it. Yeah, it is the community. and, and it, I'm a great believer that things like this is for the clubs. It's not for anybody else. It's for the clubs, and specifically the players. And if we can't put on a show and make it a big day out for them, for the clubs, then we're doing something wrong and... and you know, if anybody's got any suggestions on how we can make things better, we're always listening, you know. Definitely we are. It is, a, it's a, it is an open book, isn't it, at yes. the Devon FA, really? We, we're more than happy to take on board criticism, what, everything, how we can grow. But um, the feedback we get is fantastic, isn't it, really? I must say, yeah, you know. We haven't had any complaints. Just one, just one this morning. <laughs> I thought we were so close to getting for a, for a full kind of um, compliment of finals. And we got the one. But it's fine. It is. As I said, our commentary and everything around these cup finals is all there to make the players experience better, the spectators, everything, the volunteers. It's just to give a little bit back, really. That's why we put so much effort into it. And we will continue to do so um, for as long as we are here, I imagine. So, yeah, it's, it's filling up around the other side a little bit now. Um, It's open, and the, the the players' gate is is well and truly open. Eddie's there, man in it. Eddie Green, one of our volunteers. Yeah, top, top, what a legend! What a legend of a bloke. Jeanette, um, Jeanette. Jeanette. <laughs> they, they've, I don't know how they find time for everything. They oh, they, I, I, they run the Pioneer Youth League, which is the second biggest league in the county. Yeah, they run and it better than ever as well, don't absolutely. they? Absolutely, it's as strong as it's ever been that league, Every I think. They've been here helping me out. And they're always the first, pretty much the first people here, aren't they? they are. And the last people to go. And if they have something to say, you listen to it because they know exactly what they're talking you about. You have a choice, do you, really, when Eddie, when Eddie gets a hold of you? <laughs> yeah. Annette, I love Annette, 
Yeah. Select. You've got referee Mark Hickson, he comes and helps. Yeah. Another referee, Dylan Gascoigne, who's just got his promotion to four, level four. He comes and helps. Anita Beale comes up from Plymouth. Here come the teams. The teams are coming, so we'll, I'll move upstairs. Um, you will hear my voice again in a second. I think Jace is going to take over. But listen to that noise. Right, Mr. Mason, it's, uh, we, you and I are live. Oh, we are live. <laughs> wow. We are live until um, Mr. Barrett, Mr. Mr. Makes Barrett it gets back, back the, in. So, oh, that was absolutely, I'll tell you what, it's great to listen to uh, Matt and Mark there and get their insights on things. It's absolutely brilliant here. The team's coming out now. And I think we're not far away from getting this Sports Lighting Premier Cup underway, Rich. This is going to be a cracking game, Jace. <sighs> yeah. This is the one that we've been waiting for. Yes. Um, um, and I was lucky enough to watch both semi-finals. So, you know, um, I think this is going to be absolutely immense. It's going to be a great game. I think it's going to be uh, fireworks from the beginning. Okay. Absolute fireworks from the beginning. So, you know, sit yourselves down, strap yourselves in. Because here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is going to be... At, sorry, I'm fiddling with buttons. This is going to be... Um, this is going to be amazing. So, uh, yeah. Matt Barrett, are you back? No, no, he's not back. No, no, no. no let's no. keep him quiet. We, oh, can, okay. we can take over. <coughs> this is production team takeover. Because <laughs> I can do this, look. So I can go, look, I'm going to put the beer team up on screen now. Oh, wow. And I can do that. So there you go. There's the beer team uh, for everyone. Wow! <laughs> now, even even with the headphones on, that sounded yeah, yeah. absolutely that amazing. Is, uh, that is crazy, absolutely crazy. Well done. So let's uh, that's the uh, beer team up on screen. So let's uh, show you now the lineup for North Moulton. And here they are. That's the team that we got for them. Uh, I think it's, yeah, like I said, it's going to be an amazingly fast start. This beer absolutely went for Exwick in the semi final, knocked them off their stride, won the game. And if I was them, um, I'm not changing that plan. No, no, they, it, it worked from. Yeah. Why, why would you want to change anything? But um, you, you've gone for a North Malton win. Yeah, I've gone for a North Malton win by one goal, mate. Just, yeah. I just got that feeling that uh, it's going to go back and the Stags are going to win it. The Stags, you're on a oh, nickname go, terms. How have you done that? Ah, there you go, you see. <laughs> you're amazed, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're, um, we're filling as we await the return of... Return uh, of the Barrett. Well, I don't know. Is it like a health food store? We've got Barrett and Barrett in there? Yeah, we have, haven't we? Or an estate agent? Well, I don't know how many of them Shoe are in shops? there. Shoe no. shops? I don't know. I've, I've only seen Matt. I've only seen Matt in there. Yeah, I've seen his brother. So uh, we'll go. We'll wait for a... Yeah, 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 okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take myself off. Rich, I'm going to leave you live. So you, oh, thanks. You, you can uh, you can chat away, and we will let you uh, go back and speak to a young Mr. Barrett. Mr. Barrett, are you there? Hello, I'm here. Yeah, Hi, Matt. Good I'm stuff. here. Everyone miss me? Sorry, uh, who are you? Who am I? No, I'm a star now. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was, some, that was uh, some time to fill. I didn't realise kind of how long it was out there. Well, no. I'm still live, by the way, but to be fair, I did warn you. Yeah, no, fine. <laughs> I didn't quite, and I, I knew, I know we said in every cup final about how hot the pitch gets, but blimey, <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. My feet are on fire. But no, yeah. um, what a game we've got in store for us today. Yes, it's going to be absolutely. an absolutely, um, absolute cracker. And I believe you've done all the teams and stuff on screen, which yeah. is great. Yeah, yeah we're going gonna to put them up on screen again. Yeah. Uh, you know, why, why not? It's, it's their moment. Let's uh, get them... So yeah, we got we got a different PA announcer, haven't we? Yeah, it's a bit um, <laughs> yeah, it's a bit in your face, <laughs> isn't he? Uh, no, I, I did say to the viewers, Matt, I congratulated you on your uh, on, on your pre-match. Thank you. Chat there, no, it's really I good. The sponsors are set. Do you want to come up here? Do you want to come up it here? It was good. Yeah. Sponsors sit there. Good to listen to Mark Bewley without him swearing as well. well sit over there, mate. Yeah, yeah we didn't have the bleep machine ready, did no, we? No, no, no. I know. So we we could have got cut out a couple of times. <laughs> I thought we'd get Bewley involved, you know. Auto, auto bleep. <laughs> he does so much behind the scenes, I thought we'd get him up front and in what? person. Does he? I don't know, apparently. 
Oh. He was telling me out there, Jace, that he does. So, and he's, look, he's looking busy at the moment carrying is, the cup. Uh, is, is your brother not commentating? No, he's not commentating. No, no. We'll, 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 we'll all, can we all do it together or is that too oh, much? Yeah, we can do. Yeah. He just couldn't get up here. There's a big Paul Morrison's in the way. So, Can we, can we just pass the mic down to him? <laughs> he's giving the bro big mic. Yeah, yes. no. Send him off into the crowd. No, that's not a good idea. No. That's not a good <laughs> idea today. So, uh, Mr. Barrett. You've got, I've gone 3-1 beer. Yep. Mason's gone uh, North Moulton by the, oh, sorry, the Stags by the odd goal. The what Stags. are you going for? I'm going to go with a beer Albion win, um, and it's going to be close. But I think I think you, I, I overheard you alluding to it, and I remember you saying to me that you were at the semi-final and how qu fast beer started. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah they so did. They, so were, uh, they were, they were a couple of goes up really semi. early, weren't they in the semi-final? Yeah, they went went for Exwick. Absolutely yeah, Exwick. Yeah, that's it. I was going to say. So I'm going to I'm going to back them um, today. They are probably I can't remember what the split was, Jace, with coaches and stuff and buses. Who who had the more f supporters coming? It looks everywhere I look, it looks to be light looked, blue beer out. Beer, doesn't it? Yeah. It looks beer all the way. Well, they certainly got the biggest cheer of the day as well, didn't yeah. they? So. Well, biggest chair of the final so far, I yeah. reckon. So, no, it's all good. I think it's a great crowd here. It's a great afternoon. Uh, just to address something you and Mark talked about, no drinks breaks. No drinks breaks, at okay. At the re request of the clubs. Right, okay. Interesting. So, yeah. That is interesting. Well, obviously, we had the drinks break in the Ivoridge game, didn't we? And that turned and the that game. And that turned the game. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, you know, maybe they did have a quick look at that and, uh, so. you know, then thought, actually... We're not going to bother. It is warm, though. It is warm. I mean, even even me stood back here in the back of the stand with my pajama bottoms on. Yeah, you, you must know, be s I'm, I'm just sweating a bit, a bit out there, yeah. mate. Um. Hey, hey, there's quite a... Uh, I don't know if you logged into the chat down there, Matt. Oh. <laughs> you should be, <laughs> I knew Matt. I had to do something. You should um, be, Matt. There, there's a hashtag going round for uh, this final. Okay. Hashtag beer ball. Beer ball. Beer I, ball. I, saw <laughs> the, I, I saw the hashtag earlier. <laughs> hashtag um, beer ball. Okay. I like that. So I'm into the chat. Here goes the chat. Uh, do I want to read these, Jace? I don't know if I'm going to get some stick for standing no, no, out no, there no, burning no. up. Uh, mate, everything's positive. Okay, excellent. Um, oh, everything's beerable. positive. Yeah. Everyone's loving the two assistant referees here today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well earned to uh, yeah. deserve to be here. <laughs> yeah, moving on. Uh. Moving swiftly on. Luke McFarlane in the middle, Rich. Yes. Good season. He's had a great. He's had a great season, actually. Yeah. Yeah, Tell you what, really well. he, uh, he refereed the semi-final at Budley, which was beer in Exwick, and refereed he, it. He got a semi-final and a final, Jess. Yeah, yeah, some of us didn't get one. No. But he refereed it extremely well. Right, well. Extremely well. Fair play then to that man for giving him the final as well. Well, yeah, we're three minutes early. So we are early. I, I'm really not sure. We're early with everything today, aren't we? <laughs> It's a good thing, but yeah, a bit late, I suppose. <laughs> well, we thought we were going to be late because there was an accident on the um, so I hear on yeah. the M5. So, so I hear. Um, Alistair Cummings two nil to the Albion. Hashtag beer ball. Excellent. We'll see what goes on there. Amanda Jane beer ball all the way from Crete. Oh, feels a bit like That's Crete. A great today, start, isn't it? He's caught me out there. He's caught me out. Let's uh, does start someone, the game. Does someone hit the uh, you know players at the start a game. Oh no, yeah. sorry. Yeah, doing it, doing that's it. The doing so, that's the sort of abuse that I would normally get from yeah. the <laughs> production team. <laughs> well, this is uh, commentator, producer, and, yeah, stat and Statman all at the same time. Yeah. This, this this could go horribly wrong. But it could go horribly right as well. <laughs> Let's remember that. So this could go right. It was, it's one we've always wanted to do together, um, isn't it, the three of us? To on be commentary. fair, Matt, if he does well on commentary, what are we going to do? Wow, I don't I look well, apparently we look for other employment. Suggesting all these changes, that's us out, I think. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so, uh, <laughs> yeah. Let's see so where we go. But the stadium clock's working as well, Rich, today. Oh, that's, uh, that's good. You can to tell we've got, I've got a professional next to me because he knows how to work the clock. <laughs> well, just say, fellas, the images that Richard is bringing us look absolutely fantastic. And uh, yeah, your commentary so far is, is amazing. So we're off to a great start. Let's hope the team's. Have a great start too. Oh, that's a, oh, that's gone out. Yeah, so oh, the assistant in front of the uh, stand. It's not flagged at all for anything. Um, and there's a chance early here. For North Moulton with a shot, and it's just blocked and cleared away by the beer right back. 
North Moulton have started this really quickly, to be fair. They have, haven't they? Um, I know they we, we've almost been caught off guard a little bit with the early start, but North Moulton are on the offence, are on the attack. They can actually score before a kickoff. <laughs> oh, here we go. That's a great offside. ball. He's offside. 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 Offside over there. He was offside. Not. <laughs> <laughs> There was a there was a mix of boos and cheers. I, then I was going to say the crowd are making their feelings very well known on that um, right in front of the assistant on the other side, which is Gary Hammond. Tell you what, I, I'm going to switch our feed because I, again I can do this to our fourth official, Rocky Allen. It's yes. over there. A, a, a thousand and seven games he's on. Thousand and seven games for that man over yeah. there as he just wanders he's out. He's just out wandering. Of the picture. Yeah. And far, far be it for me to speculate, but I'm sure there's a few more coming. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely Rocky. legend. Uh, what, what a legend. What a player as well, camera, by camera, the way. Camera, 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 camera. <laughs> oh, here we go. Chance. That was a chance for the <laughs> beer number seven. The beer number seven is Liam Cox. <laughs> and the well saved from the North Mountain keeper, which is James Campbell. Yeah, you, you do realise you're the only one with the uh, team sheets down there, don't you? <laughs> right, no yeah, pressure. Matt, yeah, yeah, just no pressure, I'll get yeah, the yeah. names out. <laughs> so if it appears that we're just talking about the players and numbers, it's because down this end... We uh, have none. Yeah. We have no yeah. team sheets. We didn't get any sheets, right, OK. Uh, well, we did, but our hands are full of cameras ah. and, and, and <laughs> buttons and, and all sorts. Oh, you're doing a great job, fellas. <laughs> Keep it going. Well, we're nearly at the end, though, aren't we? You know, we've been together for... This is final number 15. Yes. Yep. yep. So, you know, uh, I think we, we've brought some fantastic images, some fantastic games uh, to people. But let's just pause now because North Moulton have got the first corner of the game. Yeah. And, it's a and uh, corner in this in this corner, the corner flag corner. <laughs> well, they're all corner flag corners, aren't they? The corner flag bar corner, where there's a where it's very heavy. It's a great delivery. A oh, delivery. Can you the far post? Well, is cleared away. Cleared for a throw in over there. Um, to North Moulton North, North Moulton have had a, a lot of it haven't they in the early stages they have yeah we, I mean we're not even four minutes in but it's uh, 100 mile an hour how long that will last in this kind of heat don't know oh, there's an early decision and he's given it <laughs> to the defending team Samantha Denslow come on beer from sunny Spain oh sunny Sonny Newton Abbott today. The chat's working. That's great. Lovely. <laughs> Christian Burrows, can you try and keep the camera still? Christian, if you can come and do a better job, sir, we're here tomorrow. Games at 10, 1 and 4. Uh, I'd love to have you involved. I, yeah, we've, we've built this one up, haven't we, this afternoon, but what a day we've got tomorrow. I yeah. say what a day we've got, what a day you've got. But, I was going to say, um, what, what, what a load of games the we've great got tomorrow. <laughs> the Great British Confectionery Girls Finals Day. What a... It's a long day, but it's going to be a... Yeah. A day S full of... Sam White's gone 2-0 to beer. So so far, then, I'm the only one that's gone for North Mountain. Yeah. You are, indeed. OK. Well, it's look... Are you, oh, I mean, but actually... Oh, here we go. Here's a chance. So, Taylor Rook is after that one on the corner of the box. Plays it inside a 1-2. That's a good tackle. He's kind of gone down a bit. Oh, a bit lively. Uh, no penalty. And the ball... The play goes on. Tony Pinder now with it over on the far side. Don't you just hate that, Chase, when he knows exactly who the players are? I know, it's great, isn't it? Oh, it's get, these are, I'm just plucking random names. You don't know they're right or wrong. <laughs> are we, um, we going to talk about drinking and date nights? Oh. Or is that just <laughs> to any of our viewers in France, um, <laughs> I must apologize. <laughs> I'm not going to even apologise. No, no, no. It's, it's what we do. It's what yeah. we do. Mark Walker, 2-1 two two to North Moulton. So he's uh, the same as you, Rich. North Moulton by a goal. It's a heavy challenge, but yes. the defender comes away with it. And it's gone all the way through to the keeper at the far end, James Harrison Campbell. Walker on watching on YouTube. Uh, up the Beer Albion. 83 viewers across the two. That's fantastic. 3 0. There you go. 3 0 North Moulton. Harley Ashdown, Harley Ashdown to score to a hat. Wow. Well, we've had a hat trick already today. Yeah. In fact, what did he end up with? I was going to say, it's five, a, a hat trick he? and some. Yeah. 
Let's see. But keep the comments going. Remember to like and share the page. Uh, thank you as ever to Kim Presswood of Sports Lighting, who sponsor the Cup, and also to Elevate, the player development app for bringing our media coverage to your homes and mobile phones across the world, it would seem. Um, yeah, we'll just change the camera so you're not seeing the topsy two heads. Christopher yeah. James Russell Driver, come on beer, supporting from the USA. Was Get with the on. beer management until recently when I got a coaching job in the States. 2 nil beer, beer ball. Love it. So where, where did this beer ball start then? And don't say beer. If, I was going to say beer, <laughs> I imagine. Oh, yeah, I forgot I'm doing stats, haven't I? There we go. Just to get another corner on there. Oh, what's not that's a great ball. This is going to well. be interesting. Set it down. Shot towards goal. Blocked and cleared. And it's lashed up into the air. Oh, it's still in and around. And the keeper is looking fantastic in pink. Yeah. Collects the ball. Love a pink kit. Love a pink keeper. So, our second pink keeper today, isn't it? Yep. And to be fair, remember when the goalkeepers only used to wear green? <laughs> well, I suppose me and Jace can remember. I was going to say, you remember Ooh. when they didn't even wear gloves, uh, Rich. <laughs> 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 and they used to save their massive pig's heads or whatever it was. Yeah, yeah. and they could pick when, up the ball from a back pass. Yeah. <laughs> and when they'd kick it from one end of the village to the other. <laughs> The games are gone for days, so I'm told. Rich, he's having a go at you. Yeah, I know he is. <laughs> he's just laughing it off. <laughs> just get used to it. It's an afternoon. So which one do we pull to put him in there? Uh, <laughs> we can't. He's the only one. Let's <laughs> <laughs> say. So. Back forward. North Mountain. Oh, there's a coming together there, but it's it's good. Oh. Uh, yeah. He's holding yeah. his head, the North Mountain player. It looks like a head injury. Oh, dear. No. Oh, well. I'm <laughs> saying nothing. Say nothing. Say nothing. Move on. I've so, Beer have got the ball in the penalty here. It's cross across. And it's uh, cleared. Come down. It hasn't come down for him yet. Is he going to be able to control it? He's played it out wide. And look to deliver the ball in. Teasing, tantalising. Yeah, shot. it's just dribbled through. So, uh, the keeper. Uh, and the keeper throws it out quite quickly. Oh, there's a bit. <laughs> There's a, there's a small pocket of Beer Albion fans over in the far corner there who agreed with that decision. I uh, disagreed with that decision, I may add. Just checking which way is which. <laughs> no, more comments, Tracy Evans, Stags, come on you beauties. Seth Wakeley, good to see some old teammates. I guess I'm back on the pitch at halftime, my Jace. Mate, you can, you can go wherever I you want. I love this microphone, so I, I literally <laughs> will go back on the pitch. <laughs> Well, I reckon you should uh, interview some of the crowd. Oh, oh there Rich. you go. No, I think that should have been done before the game, Jace. <laughs> Rich Mason's your interviewer. Oh, it's a chance for three from... And it is a chance and it's a goal. Nice. Uh, North Moulton number three, Dylan Williams. Dylan Williams with the first goal of the game. North Moulton take a one-goal lead. We are ten minutes in. The, the support in front of me to my left are very happy with that. There's beers in the air and everything, but Dylan Williams gives Dylan Williams. Uh, Dylan Williams gives North Moulton the lead, and I, I can't say it's undeserved, actually, gents. I must say. Well, they most started, of the yeah, they started the, the stronger and quicker, didn't they, of the two? Most of the play's been to that left-hand yeah. side, isn't it? <laughs> the atmosphere is great. Oh, it is. I hope you can so hear that at home. Is, it, is this where I stay, stay stop the count now? <laughs> stop the count. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't. I. They are, uh, seem to be loud down your end there, Matt. They are a bit loud, yeah. They're drowning out the PA. The chance. Oh, I hope you can hear this at home. I must say. Yeah, I conceded. <laughs> I tell you what, it, it was. It was. I, I keep lauding back to the semi-final. The semi-final was was amazing. Um, wow. So I said, hold on to your hats. If be get an equaliser, that's all I'll say. Just. I just had word of the attendance. <laughs> Five, four, two. Uh, and probably still coming in. And still coming in as well. Yeah. Wow. That's a crowd. I'd love to know if anyone's here f watching from beer. What's with all the balloons that they've uh, that they've put up? Well, it's um, 
Steve Mason's wedding <laughs> that's going on after the game. <laughs> oh, dear. Of course, he can't say anything to defend good. himself. Eh? Very good. <laughs> Although, uh, He'd be listening. Matt, <laughs> whilst you day there, can you just tell Caitlin that, you know, that that's happening as well? <laughs> yeah, the has he not told her yet, has he? No. Yeah. <laughs> theme for your wedding, Caitlin, is blue and white. <laughs> oh, Jerry Hutter, come on, you stags, watching from Perth, Australia. Wow. And the winner is. Really? <laughs> yeah. It really is a worldwide thing. We're gone, we've gone worldwide. Yeah. Yeah, I hope you're all enjoying the coverage from wherever you're watching it. Beer's in the first corner of the game. Let's see what they can do with this. Well, I'm enjoying it from Coach Road anyway, Matt. So am I. So am I. See, it's a bit congested in that corner. penalty area. Uh, Cleared away by North headed Norton. away. That's a big oh dear. challenge. <laughs> and it's a, a free <laughs> kick to Peter Albion, I think. That's us say, yeah. <laughs> Less said about that challenge, the better, eh? <laughs> it was um, agricultural. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. It's a good start so far, Mr. Barrett. It is, it is a, um, it's a fast start, isn't it? Like we, as we predicted, I think. Um, they f it feels like they're feeding off the energy in the ground, actually. And what if beer got a free kick on the far side they, uh, as a way back into the game it's a long ball in it's a good ball in and it's headed away by the North Moulton number 5 and the North Moulton number 5 is Joshua break. Stoneman is there a break on can the 10 get across 10 is James Gifford no I think it's very apparent so far that you know any time Beer are pressing North Moulton are getting back in numbers aren't they so yeah. I'm not sure that these uh, quick breaks are going to be an option no uh, for North Moulton in these early stages It's just, I just, it's great, isn't it, to see the ground like this? Buzzing yet again. Yeah. Me and Mark were talking on the pitch about how good it was to see the the facility so so busy. Yes. Uh, with real football people in the ground as well, just having a gr having a just having a good day in the sun. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely to see. And there's a is that a corner? So a. North Moulton corner. I'm sure the stats will tell me how many corners they've had. <laughs> three. <laughs> they, they three. Number three. Number three. Well, number three that I've recorded. As the, <laughs> chan <laughs> as the chants start again. I'll tell you what. There's, there's only about 10, 15 people, but that's really, really loud, isn't it? I would say, yeah. That's a good little tackle there in the block, and they'll beer away. I'll beer away. It's a ball played over the top. It's been an interesting bounce. Uh, Liam Cox oh, gets out, but out. Keeper comes and deals with it, kind of, with the help of his yeah. mate, the right back. Always a nervous moment when yeah. keepers come out of the penalty area. <laughs> it is frantic, is the word to be used to describe. Frantic. Right now, there's a word we've not used in the final so I just heard Bernard use it in front of me, and I thought, yeah, <laughs> spot on. All right. Right, let's see. It's, again, it's North Moulton pressing. They, they look dangerous every time yeah, they, they do. Uh, I agree. Come forward, don't they? Who's um, who's got the better kit, chaps? Do we think? Uh, ooh, ooh. North Moulton. Yeah. Yeah, I think I agree. Oh. I don't predict they're going to win the game, but they can win the kit battle. I was going to say, are we awarding the, the cup on the kit? The kit cup. The kit cup. Kit Kat. Well, uh, to be fair, I thought that I thought the white kit from last week was. Oh, that's the, that's that is the kit <laughs> of the team of the tournament. That the team of the tournament, which we will do. Yeah, are we doing that in our? We have to review. Yeah, yeah we, we have to. Kit of the tournament. Not kit of the tournament. Sorry, of the, of the finals. Well, we, the we could do. Yeah, we could do the team, and then they'll be in the whatever kit is we think's the best. Yeah, it's not going to take much discussion. We've <laughs> won it already. <laughs> Sponsored by Metallica. Tracy Evans, a comment on Facebook. Shout out for Claudia South Southcott, who's come down from London to watch her bro play. Stags with a love heart. Love that. All the way down from London. 
Excellent. It's not Perth, Australia, though, is it? It's not Perth, Australia, no. But, you know. Now, if someone had to come across from Perth, Australia, that's, that would be hats off. But still, it's great to see. Oh, that's a good ball. Yeah. I tell you what, if he controls that. Yeah, chance. Because he was onside. The assistant Sam Gill down this side, ruling that he's uh, onside. Um, it's a heavy challenge, but he's rode it well and he's away again. That's a good oh, ball. Oh, nice I like that. Modric-esque. spin on the ball. It's another it's penalty appeal turned down. Tell you what, Luke McFarlane's having none of this, is he? No. It's, uh, he's not. He's refereeing the game purely, not, you know. He's refereeing the game, certainly, uh, yeah. more than the uh, the event itself. Yeah, absolutely. Which is which is great. That's what that's what we want. That's what you lads would have told him, wasn't it, over the uh, oh yeah, over the last few years. He's going to hit that. Oh, it's blocked. So I just helping out a, a football legend in the in the crowd. All oh, right, going to hit that. What's well, shot? shot. Well, say well held as well. Deflected strike from the edge of the box for North Martins number fifteen. Was well held. Yeah. Colin Goodwin of the Devon and Exeter League. Ah. He does their website. And, uh, oh, nice. a, a real historian of, of Devon football. So happy to help Colin out. Keeps uh, sending uh, match reports and snippets from cup finals in the 30s and 40s. Oh, amazing. Yeah, it's interesting to read. No, I wasn't around. I was just going to say. Yeah. say it. I was going to say you'll have yeah. a hell of an interesting conversation with Mr. Mason. Well, then. he refereed two of them. <laughs> <laughs> Ben Brewer also tuning in from Perth, Australia. Beer ball. This is amazing. <laughs> Good day. Good day. <laughs> Have you got any shrimps on the barbie? So they know what the score is going to hey. be. Well, yeah, because the game's finished, don't they? finished. So, yeah, well, when we say we're live, we're not actually live, are we? We were live, well. <laughs> did, you dr did you drive in your ute? <laughs> wow. This is always the danger, isn't it, I suppose? Rich of, right? uh, oh, here we go. Chance to keep a claim. So I was going to say, Rich, there's a danger of giving Jace a live mic rather than just the internal. Oh, mic. no. The He's only good thing is, and now the viewers will be able to hear his jokes. Yes, yes. And as opposed to what we've just got to listen to on our ears most of the time. Unfortunately, though, because I'm live, I have to be careful with the selection <laughs> <Yeah>. of jokes. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> three quarters of the... Uh, the joke book has been ripped up. Jace, I think you'll be all right as, cool. long, as long as you don't talk about date nights. I think you'll be all right. Uh, and drinking. Date nights and drinking. Date nights and coffee drinking. and whatever else we head were drinking. Head injuries. Okay, yeah. Don't talk about head injuries. We don't <laughs> mention them. <laughs> What's a head injury? I hear you ask. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, it's a great start here at Coach. 20 minutes in. Beer, nil, North Molten Sports Club. I don't know. I think, I think the beer is winning this because there's loads of it coming yes. out of the clubhouse. Beer is yeah. the winner. There's another Beer offside. Is the <laughs> so that's North Morton's third offside. And I suppose it shows the balance of play because uh, they've had three offsides and Beer yet to be offside. So it just tells you where the play is. Oh. You wouldn't want to take this kick, would you, in front of them? <laughs> in front of them, no. <laughs> no pressure, but he's, yeah, he's kicked well. Mm. I think that was a, what a great uh, goalkeeper you are, wasn't it, champ? Yes. <laughs> it was. All words to that effect. It was something, no advantage yeah. and free kick there. Yeah. Something along those lines. <laughs> ah. He's Rocky Cam looking, Jace. He's got his hands out of his pockets anyway. <laughs> well, our viewers would say that all of your cams are Rocky cams. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll get in there, Mr. Cartwright, for you. Oh, um, <laughs> no, Rocky, Rocky cam's still there. No, he's not very far away. He is that small. <laughs> uh, a couple of uh, comments on Facebook. Mark Walker, is there any of Mr. Loader's cake left? Yeah. Seth Wakeley's watching from 63 Lizzie Road. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then there's another comment that you might want to have a look at oh there's a tussle in the middle of the park but North Martin come away with it and the ball is knocked in towards the number 10 which is James Gifford
I show my age, I don't get that comment. Maybe it's a youth thing. Has he got tea? Stephen Mason didn't have tea. Thank you, Mr. Hickson. Much appreciated. Wow. There you go, see? Oh, uh, right, it's because he's the RDO. That's what it is. Uh, it? It's an RDO thing, Barrett. Wow. Did he not do it for you, Jase? <laughs> Did you, do you not get offered down there? No, I haven't had anything offered, mate, to me. But uh, Thanks, just uh, oh, there, you go. Oh, there, there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. He's making some kind of gesture towards me, go but on. I don't know let's, what it was. Let's see you do a hand gesture for Thatcher's Hayes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sorry, drinking. So, uh, did he not ask you, Jase? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, right. I have water, so I'm good. Ah, Restream have just told us we've reached 100 messages today with Restream chat. All right. Excellent. Uh, uh, how do I get onto here, then? So, uh, I'm not sure our viewing public can help you with that. No, I don't know why I'm <laughs> out speaking aloud. So there's a ball over the top and the uh, keeper comes and collects it. It, it, does, it does help if you speak aloud. Cause I was just, just looking, thinking about things. I was looking through the comments and I was looking on my phone at how to, how to get rid of users and viewers, you know. Oh. I don't know how oh, we do that. Are you going to block people? Oh, oh I would have. Oh, dear. So you just select the little drop-down arrow next to their name and then you get an option to Says either block... block Ah yes. Block from their platform or block from a restream. So I, I, yeah, keep keep it keep it nice. Uh, we don't need any um, negativity. Any negative. So unfortunately, uh, a couple of people or well, one of them's gone. Uh, we're not we're not having it. Sorry. No need for it is there today. It's just no, no, no. It's, it's a celebration of football. Yeah, this. absolutely. And if you can't be nice, then uh, you won't be watching. So apologies to anyone that's uh, read that uh, language uh, and is offended by it. We, we, not an awful lot we can do, but we can deal with things when it comes up. And, and uh, yeah, Mr. Pavey has been dealt with. Oh, oh, what a save. Oh, what a save. Wow. What a save that was. James Campbell with a fantastic save up there. That end. An overhead, kind of overhead kick, wasn't it, in a way? Yeah. Uh, the... Number 10 is Chris Long, the skipper. Uh, he managed to hook it towards goal somehow, some way, and the keeper's just managed to claw it away. So we've so got right. a corner on the far side. At the shed end. At the shed end. <laughs> As I said, in front of that little pocket of Beer Albion support, he's gone short. Good, court, good ball in as well, but it's headed up towards Eastern Eye. You mean it's yeah. ended up towards their... their uh, the sign. Sign. The Very Eastern Ice sign. So if right. anyone wants to sign that in the, uh, in the ground, what do they do? Uh, well, just dro <laughs> drop, me a, drop me a message. Multitasking. An email, yeah. Um, if you want any kind of advertising around the ground uh, in, our pro in our match day programmes, if you want to sponsor cups, if you want to sponsor leagues, if you want to sponsor anything, just drop me a line. Uh, we can have a conversation. Something that will fit your budget, but you know the advertising is second to none here around this uh, fantastic facility. So drop me a line on that one. I'll uh, I'll let you read the comment by Lisa Bewley. Yeah, I've just seen it. Uh, Lisa Bewley, watching from the garden in Brixham, and tell Mr. Bewley I heard what he said about me. Creep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bradley Conway on Facebook. What a save keeper! Oh, absolutely bang on, wasn't it? Uh, really, really good save. Well, so we've got the Alex Paget fan club, beer number 16, the tall old <laughs> greying one that looks like Mr. Darcy. Watching from Manchester, cloudy as usual, memberships available. <laughs> Brilliant. See, we're not the fun police, we don't mind some... Nah, uh, good banter, we love good banter. That's a big That challenge. was crunching. The assistance flag went straight up on that one, you saw that one. Um, could have shout from one of the fans here, he could have killed him. <laughs> Always a good one. <laughs> so North Malt might be one nil up, but it's three all on uh, on on fouls. And the uh, yellow card bus is yet to arrive. Yeah, no, yeah, we're all waiting at the station, but the yellow card train is yet to pull in. He's kept a good a good grasp on things, hasn't he, Luke? He's yeah, very so calm. Yes. He, he referees the game, not the occasion. Yeah. A big, uh, that's quite a big compliment, isn't it? Because it would be easy, I would imagine, as a 
not a referee myself, but to get kind of engrossed in the occasion. Oh, yeah, yeah. And what an occasion. Yeah, exactly. It's a, I mean, it's, it's a big occasion for them, isn't it, as well, Jase? I, I suppose... Getting a cup final. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jace, thanks. Mate. I wouldn't know. Um, I was going to say... Th- <laughs> this, um, this can't be far off Luke's biggest crowd, I'd have thought. I don't know many of them would have had at the semi-final. Yeah, there wasn't this many here at the semi-final. No, yeah, it's probably... So... Probably while he's been refereeing, it's one of the uh, biggest crowds that he's refereed at. I guess <laughs> <laughs> son in a little croaky yeah. might need to blow the froth off one <laughs> during that half time. Brilliant. Well, if our viewing public insists. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there he goes. Good advantage Safe played by, advantage by a referee by again. And North Moulton on the attack. Ball inside the penalty area. A little step over and a drag oh, back and a shot. Saved again. It's on target, but from easy. Elliot Driver. Easy for the keeper. In the so beer goal. Well kicked down field as well. It's turned defence into attack straight away, but it's well defended. And a throw in in front of oh, the camera position. And the ball bounces over the fence. Paul Frizzle's after it, so. Need a bigger fence. Uncle Paul. Oh, this, look, he's rushing. He's rushing. <laughs> Jerry Hutter, love it, guys. Yeah, that's what we want, isn't it? A little bit of back and forth. We love it. We love it. Yeah. Sounds a bit loud up your end, so guys. Yeah, it oh, he's gone down. Well tackled, well tackled. Uh, North Wall got yeah. the chance to clear, looking for a free You're not kick. Get again. that, I don't think. <laughs> no, our referee is unmoved. It's spread out. To He's the having left none of it. Side. And again, that's a, looks like a useful ball into the box, but cleared by the beer defence. Recycled by North Moulton, and yeah, that one's that's gone. <laughs> Sean Miller on it's YouTube. Gone. Up the beer, we love a beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do, we do. Looking at some of the people in the crowd, they're loving more than one beer today. Yeah, yeah. Beer, cider, wine, anything. Anything they... Oh, yeah. <laughs> chopped him down on the edge of the <laughs> which, box. Which are all available in the uh, corner flag, of course. Yes. <laughs> the player with his arms out there. What, ref? Yeah. What, what have I done wrong, ref? <laughs> let, let us explain that one to you, sir. Watch that one back on the replay. So not only are we bringing this up, we've actually got the video cameras up as well. Highlight package to go out, I believe. Is that right? Oh, oh, hang on. <laughs> sometime, at some yeah, point. Yeah, sometime. We'll, we'll, yeah, which was good because I've just remembered to press the record button on the uh, on the third feed. <laughs> Brad Skilton, come on, beer. Sadie Reed, come on, North Moulton. We are there with the under th- under thirteen Fremington girls tomorrow. Good to see Excellent. North Devon teams doing us proud. Yeah, one of the one of the three finals tomorrow. Isn't it? That must be the ten o'clock kickoff as well. Yeah, under 13s at 10 o'clock. Nice and early. Best set off now from Fremington. I was, say, I was just going to say, it's an early start, that one. Oh, he struck and it. Oh. Keeper's held it well. Well done, Keeper, there. Under under pressure as well. Yep. It's, it, uh, interestingly, North Moulton, all their shots have right, been on target so far. Yet to have a shot off target. Hmm. Well, I thought it was interesting. It is interesting. <laughs> oh, it is. <laughs> could, could that actually then be costly? <laughs> Can I just say, just we've got 124 viewers across the two ch- the two platforms. Oh, excellent. Uh, and Facebook is winning. Can oh. I can I also say that, that uh, whilst you two are commentating, we were getting what 40, 50 viewers. And yep. Jason's and I yeah, yeah. 120. Well, I, w- I would argue, Jace, that it was the the pre-match kind of putting <laughs> a face to a face to a voice. Yeah, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll give you that. That little touch. I'll give you that. Um, Matt, you so know, who knows, we could have had 300 if we did that. You know, <laughs> earlier we, uh, we made that comment about uh, people just turning up for the big games. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, he's, you, know. you just keep up, keep that camera up with play, mate, all right? What is it with you two today? You're very spiky towards <laughs> each other, aren't you? <laughs> mm-hmm. We love each other, really. I mean, normally you come into our office for, you know, uh, a bit of companionship and love during the week. Oh, and, have you and today? I, oh, yeah. Well, it's not the week. It's not a working week, is it? I know. But nah, it's Saturday. It's a Saturday, you it's see? It's Saturday. That's how we've had to split you up on the commentary. We've <laughs> had to bring you down here. Right? We had to put a security team in between. Yeah. 
no security needed team between these two. It's a, it's a good competitive game so far. Just the it nine is, yeah. fouls. Uh, none of them particularly bad. Certainly none worthy of going in the yellow card club. It's, uh, oh, well defended. Well, it's a goal, goal kick. kick to North Moulton. Becca Sweeting, shout out to Barrel of Beer, cheering on the mighty Albion. Beer ball. That's, Ooh, that's the pub, barrel, this is This is this the, is the pub. pub. This so, is the pub yes. I was mentioning this morning. Oh, yeah, and we've had another one on face, uh, you, YouTube as well. Good luck, beer, from all of the Barrel of Beer. Yeah. Beer well, ball. The, the Barrel of Beer is streaming the game live in the pub on see that, YouTube. See, that is the beauty of us going out on YouTube. I mean, Facebook as well, obviously, yeah. but YouTube is... You can put them on the big screen like that. So we don't charge you for that. So we if anyone is in the um, Barrel of Beer... How many people are watching? Because that's got to be, you know, because actually that's only showing as one, but there's could be hundreds of them. Yeah, that's true. Few, yeah, that's there. true. So what? I tell you what, if you're in in beer, what an afternoon and yeah. evening you're going to get a football. Yeah. Always a chance. Oh, that's a chance. Flicked on by nine towards eleven. Who well, is? Uh, to be fair though, Jace, I mean, at least you'll be able to drive your car through beer at the moment because well, everyone's here. Yeah. Oh, it's not when you've had a drink, though. Let's, let's, well, no, let's be clear on that. Let's no, not drink no. and drive. Yeah. But, you know. It's a family show. <laughs> pretty, pretty much. All the, but, uh, yeah, you can spend the afternoon, afternoon watching this, and then have a little break. They do food in the barrel of beer, I'm sure. Have something to eat. Get ready for the Champions League final tonight. Uh, why would you want to leave? Exactly, yeah. Yep. Get on. So, barrel of beer in beer. Um, we're not the BBC, so we don't have to say that other establishments are all go to the Barrel of Beer. Yeah, why not? Yeah, absolutely. Well, and, and, and they did ask. Yeah. They asked nicely. Absolutely. So, beer are on the attack, talking the barrels of beer, and let's see if they can make some of yep. Sadly not, it's cleared away. Um, oh, that's a big ball forward. That was a big oh, ball as well. Cool, no. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a Gerard slip. Oh. Is it going to be costly? It could be. No, no he's not able to keep it Not in. quite. And I think, is he... They're asking for an offside there. He's, but given a goal kick. he's given the goal kick. So we'll take the goal kick. Won't record another offside. But, wow, that was nearly very, very costly, wasn't it? Costly just, slip. Yeah, just a slip. Can't blame the pitch. It probably will, but can't blame the pitch. <laughs> Reese McCabe, Gerard at the back. <laughs> oh, oh dear! Uh, very good. I'll ban him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the sort of thing I would be saying, wouldn't it? But but now you you sat next to Jace, you've got. I can't say you've it. Suddenly yeah. got yeah. a bit less brave. Yeah. Yeah, I did notice, mate. I didn't want to say anything. I can't. Uh, uh, Vicky, Vicky Hiran, is it Hirons? I think. Proud of my two boys, Elliot Driver in goal and Ashley Driver. We are sat in the barrel of beer. Love, Mum and Gary. That's nice, isn't it? That's what you want. I take it that, that means they're Love sat in the it. pub, not sat in a barrel of beer. In the barrel of beer. Yeah, it was oh. very specific there. Big challenge. All the <laughs> And the chant goes up again when the stags go marching. <laughs> I tell you what, it's quite difficult to hear yourself in, in this stand today. It's absolutely awesome. And we thank each and every one of these 540-odd people that are here. Yeah. Now, now, we've got we've got a, some sort of song going on in front of us from beer uh, fans as well. So. So here, here, here's a fun fact, or uh, uh, a question for our beer ball. watchers as the cameraman just loses the ball. There he is. Um, there he is. There is an area of the ground at beer that's segregated off for a group of their most, how can I say, passionate of beer supporters. And it's it's labelled on the fence as, as this. Here's a chance. There's a goal. There it is. There and there's a goal. Go. It's a beer <laughs> Albion goal. He's getting soaked in beer a bit I there. Think it's, I think it was Charlie Skilton, but I'm not sure. Is that number eight? Was it number I thought it was eight. That's what number I was going to go with. Eight. Charlie That's Skilton. It certainly is. Well, we're giving him the goal. A fine strike. I'd say there's a one-two at the edge of the box there with the, with the centre forward. Um, and the striker across goal. Keeper didn't get anywhere near it. He's probably unsighted. But that gives Beer Albion 
Oh, I'm just hoping that Matt's some saying something up there because I can't hear anything no, at the moment. I am. I did warn you guys, didn't I? I am saying what something. What would happen? It is uh, very, very loud at this end of the uh, this end of the stand. Yeah. Wow! There you go. Game on now. What have you got on the clock, Jace? He's starting to... Oh, well, we've... Uh, 37 minutes. Okay. They're chanting at each other now down here in front of me. <laughs> so it's going back and forth. <laughs> so, Charlie Skilt with the equalising goal. I've only got one copy. Oh. Caitlin, can you pass me those two sh team sheets? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Great for gets his life. Yeah. <laughs> Ma. Kiwi. <laughs> Ma. <laughs> Anyone there? That's all right. That's all right. Uh, what, what's mm. the other one? <laughs> the other one's the other team sheet, mate. Uh, it's a documentary, isn't it? A commentary box <laughs> documentary. <laughs> what goes on behind the seats? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Stefan Taylor, hi all, I'm enjoying the game. Alan Potter getting beer ball. So are we, we're enjoying this. Zach. Matt, have you sorted out the team sheets for Yeah, everyone, that's all sorted. That's okay, thanks, mate. <laughs> Before you get at me, Rich, there's a few comments about the camera, man. Exactly, yeah. Uh, but I won't repeat. Uh, that's fine. Zach Mika, replay, was drinking my beer. I really like this referee. Really like this referee. I huh? think he's doing an, an amazing job. What um, what level referee is he? How long has he been doing it? Uh, is he one of yours, Jace? Of course, he's one of mine. Yeah, uh, I thought so. Uh, he's been level four three three, three years. years now. Well, there's a yeah. chance on the fast of North Mole. He's not offside either. No. And it's, it's a, a good shot. Uh, here you go. The corner. corner. No, but I think maybe three, three, yeah, three four years yeah. as a as a level four. Very good. He's just very calm and gets the right decision. Deals with everything, no matter how big and small. Yeah. So in our cup final review for our team of the year, he's refereeing the game for me. Yeah. Okay. And I've only watched forty minutes. I challenge the three referees tomorrow to be better. There you go. Who have we got tomorrow, Rich? Oh, put, put me on that big spot, why don't you? Yeah, you well, appointed him. Um, yeah, you appointed him. Lottie Burrows. It's obviously Lottie not. Burrows. It's not Jace, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Andrew Lamerton and oh, a chance for beer. Richard Evans and it's wide. Tony Pinder just couldn't quite direct that one on target. <laughs> well flicked on by the number nine Taylor Rook. Stefan Taylor. I heard a rumour. Jason Hayward was one of the was one of the best refs in South Devon. Hi, Jason. It's been a long time. It's only a, a rumour. Steph, as well, you know, mate. It's not a rumour. It's <laughs> not a rumour. <coughs> I was only the best ref, mate, because I had good players like you on the pitch. Oh. How cute. Aww. Media matches. Crikey. Yeah, <laughs> I got one there. No, no, no. Steph was a good lad, to be fair. Uh, good lad. Uh, Sunday morning football. Did you ever referee Matt Barrett? Probably. I think, he'd, I think he would have done. Yeah, his cameraman's lost the game again. <laughs> I've got it on one camera. Shane Hookway, can I have a shout out to Ben Paul, please? Oh, it's a shot. Oh, saved by the keeper. Bocker's number nine. Well, Bocker not playing today. But these two, two teams are putting on a hell of a game for us. As we come towards half time, just under five minutes now. Great chance again from the crowd. All clean, which is great. What we want to hear. Yeah, so I don't think we've got a bleep machine big enough, have we? Uh, no. 
We'll just turn Can't put them all in jail. Can just we? turn the feed off. <laughs> we'll put them under the stand. <laughs> oh. You want to go behind there? That's, Speaking of under the stand. Than, that's well, worse Mark, than Facebook yeah, jail. Bewley's yeah, been in there today. Oh, I've and, been. and he came out alive. And he doesn't smell. Oh, that's a big block tackle. Felt that from up here. Here you go, 42 minutes. So, Mr. Barrett, yes, Mr. Hayward. give us an insight into what's going to be said in the uh, in the changing rooms it's at oh, half time. It's very much a as you were kind of thing. It's obviously evened itself up now, but it's highly competitive game. You just want to keep going as you are um, at the same intensity as for as long as you can. You'd be starting to look towards the bench, hence uh, with the heat as it is. But, yeah, I would just be saying, as I think both teams have played well, um, to be honest. Yeah. So again, been very competitive. Just keep up that intensity without the ball. Um, but they're both creating chances, aren't they, as well? Yep. So you wouldn't want to lose any of that. Um, but just stay concentrated. Keep your concentration high, because I think I feel like a mistake could, could... We almost saw one, didn't we, down here with the slip? I mean, it's not a mistake. That's harsh to call it a mistake. But, um, yeah concentration levels high in the heat that'll be difficult but as long as you can I mean it's sad isn't it if a game gets decided on on a mistake yeah, at, but at this level yeah but that's I think that's how kind of how close it is yeah really um, well sometimes uh, you have to give credit to the team for, for forcing that I was going to say uh, you know it's a mistake or a moment of magic really that well let's let's hope for a moment of magic Ben Paul, can I have a shout? So they're having sh giving shout outs to each other. Ben Paul, can I have a shout out to Shane Hookway, North Moulton's groundsman and main sponsor, local legend. There you go. Done. Who, who, Denzel Slack, who scored the goals. It was Dylan Williams who scored for North Moulton uh, in about 10 minutes. Gone. Uh, and then Charlie Skilton levelled it up after 36 for Beer Albion. It's 1 1. Both good goals. Both good goals. Makina Madness on YouTube. Free snacks at the Barrel of Beer for the beer supporters. <laughs> get on. Why, why are we broadcasting from here? I was going to say, can we, can we get in why on that? We, why aren't we not there? Can the Devon FA get in on that? <laughs> Matt, I, I see a sponsorship opportunity here. So do I. No, no, no. You know what I hear? I see. I see if beer win the cup, I reckon a cup draw. Yes. Cup draw from the Barrel of Beer. Yes. Oh, well, that was some <laughs> challenge. Here we go. <laughs> that was one of those where he's not. <laughs> you can't have an argument with that. He was not late. really looking at the ball. <laughs> he was late. All right, here we go. Could this be the first member of the Yellow Cards Club? Talking to <laughs> well explained, by the way. It looked he, he, the, the six was, you know, didn't necessarily agree with the decision in the beginning, yeah, but he but listened. He listened and he, and he and he nodded his head as if to say, Fair enough. Yeah, so and I'll yeah. tell you what, that, that goes uh, a long way when referees dealing with players. Is if yeah, it agree. actually is a player, you're going to listen? Yeah, I agree. Oh, that's a, f that's a hell of an offside trap. And offside given. So, I think on. it's the uh, number six now knows that I think that was pretty much his last warning. Yeah. It was explained for long enough. I think that's that's it. You know what happens next time. Yeah, because it's, it's those players in that situation. They go, right, I've seen you do something. I'm going to explain. You want to argue. I'll tell you what, we're, we're just card now. Yeah. So, yeah, listen to you. You might not agree with what we're saying, but have a listen. So we're into have one minute. Listen. Was that of uh, additional time? One oh, minute. I, tell you, I absolutely missed that. Yeah. One minute. 
So not only are we up here doing stats, camera, production, everything else, but we're now seeing the uh, fourth official board as well. Did it go up? Yeah, it did. Yeah. To, okay. uh, to be fair, it's rocky, so it probably didn't go up very high. <laughs> but I thought I saw something poking oh, out of the AstroTurf. He's still a 1,007 games. Yeah. Be careful. And he's from South Devon. Yeah. So rocky. I mean, the, 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 I don't know, it's great that it's the uh, Queen's Jubilee and all that this weekend, but actually I think it's a celebration of uh, Rocky. And there is the half-time whistle. Yeah, we've got to half-time. We have. 1-1. One, one. Wow. What a fantastic first half. Indeed. Um, what have we got coming in the second half? Well, more football, <laughs> I imagine. Another 45 minutes. I don't know, to be fair. This is a... Uh, a toughie to predict. A toughie to. Uh, there you go. Keeper's one wants to have a chat. Good old keeper. You can see everything from a penalty area. Well done, lad. Um, I don't know what he needs to have a chat for. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm. I'm still going beer. I'm still. I'm still going beer. Okay. I'm only one goal away from from my prediction. You are indeed. The chants are getting outrageous down here, by the way. Not <laughs> outrageous as in loud. I love it. They, uh, well, say we can we can just about hear you. To be brutally honest. Yeah. Yeah. You're not missing much, mate. To be honest. Talking my usual drivel. Okay. I just so, I love the fact that beer were here in the stand selling club scarves beforehand as yeah. well. Yeah. I mean, it's almost it's like a throwback, isn't it, Jay? It's brilliant. And, and they're not 50-50 <laughs> scarves. You know, they're 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 full. No, half beer, and half. Beer, no, we yeah. don't want that, do we? No, but yeah. they, they've got Premier Cup final branded on them as well. Yeah. I think it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, amazing. Anyway, I've got my uh, got my cup of tea, so uh, just excuse me for a minute while I take a, uh, a sip. Oh. oh, that's nice. What have you got down there, Mr. Barrett? Did you get anything? Uh, no, he's gone. Oh, so it's just me, so I'll sum it up. Oh, so he's, he's got coffee there. Yeah, yeah right. that's great. North Moulton started the game off uh, better. Uh, started the game off in a little bit more control. Took the lead deservedly. And then the game kind of just balanced itself out. Uh, chances of both ends. And, and Beer came up with the equaliser. So Two cracking goals. Oh, well. it's, it's been a great game so far. Yeah, really, really good. So it, it's lived up to the expectations that I thought the game it was going to be so yeah. well done how many how many subs have beer got by the way there are thousands out there <laughs> yeah that's uh, <laughs> well you've got two managers out there haven't you yeah they got five, five subs hell of a coaching staff yeah well, I think they named six right yep so, so they have yeah well Smart. why not yeah why not enjoy, <laughs> enjoy the day that's what we say don't we yeah. always as long as they're named, they can, so they, they, they can do what they like. Yeah, yeah. As long as you tell us who's coming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no problem with that. So fair play to them. So uh, are you up for a trip to beer to do some uh, Absolutely. cup draws? I, I want to go there tonight, Jace, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not far for you. No, I suppose not. Getting that one past the, um, I was going to say past the dragon. Past the, she's, <laughs> well, she's, she's in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> no, we won't. <laughs> I don't think there's much chance of that. that. <laughs> we say those things when the wives are not in <laughs> any shot, Mr. Barrett. Yeah, not when she's yeah. sat next to you. I was going to say, she is literally yeah. sat right next to you. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think, by the looks of it, North Moulton, their supporters are going to be making their way up your end. So, yeah, I think it like they're, uh, it's going to be a bit of a now. move up to that end of the way they're kicking. Right. Can we, uh, uh, we just have a look at some stuff on uh, on Facebook? Yeah. Because we've got uh, Shane Hookway. Uh, can I get a shout out for North Moulton's young youth team coach, Dave Filer? Got two of his youngest in the team today. So, you know, obviously progression from youth yep. into... into you know, the, the adult team there for North Moulton. So, yes, it's a shame. We're quite happy to do that shout out. Brad Skilton, get on, bro. Charlie Skilton. I love it. Yeah, he'll be telling you about that goal for a while. Uh, Brad, so, you know, people like to s talk about goals that they score in big games at big venues. I, of course, on, I of course don't like to Matt, talk I'll about just, mine. Matt, I'll just see what? if I can get him uh, muted. No, I said I don't like to talk about no, it. No, he doesn't. I don't know about Rich. To talk about it. You know, Obviously, well, it's, it's I was going to say it's difficult for Rich to understand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah I've like not experienced it. 
Wasn't there. Didn't score. Didn't turn up. No. Yeah, didn't, didn't turn play. up. Wasn't, wasn't, wasn't member selected. of staff. Wasn't time. Selected. You know, yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's the way it is, unfortunately. So, yeah. Right. You, the, be- the beauty, I guess, Jace, of scoring a goal in a cup final like this or scoring a goal at Wembley was it was caught on film, wasn't it? Indeed. And it's caught on film today. Indeed. So you score a goal at a cup final like this or at Wembley where Richard Mason didn't play. Um, it's all caught on film. We can watch it back and relive. And this, this, this footage that you're seeing today will stay on Facebook for, well, forever and YouTube. Barry, he's, n- he's not looking happy. I've, uh, he's not happy. Matt, I've, I've, pajama, I've, I've pajama seen, trousers. Are. I've, seen, I've seen the video uh, <laughs> lots of times. Uh, I haven't seen your goal yet, Matt. So Sometimes, I, have you not? No, I don't think I have. No. Well, you're missing something there, mate, because... Oh, it's a thing of beauty. It was a thing of beauty. It was set up by you, though, Jason. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it wasn't about the assist. <laughs> oh, was My goal was all about the assist oh, okay. from Dan Eustace. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great assist. I'll draw your attention, uh, Jace, to a comment from Seth Wakeley <laughs> that is making me giggle. I won't repeat it. <laughs> Get the <laughs> no, I normally fall for them. <laughs> Honestly, he must know me quite well, does yeah. Seth, because I normally fall for them. I yeah. fell for one a couple of years ago uh, <laughs> for a, a player called Dan. Right. right. His na- first name was Dan. Yeah. Okay. His last name, according to the uh, message, was Gleebles. Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fall for it. Oh. I did, and I didn't realise I'd said it either. Oh, Big yeah. shout out to Peter anyway. <laughs> Richard Mason's just got it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Mark Bewley's joined me in the box. I'll um are we are all the things over here live, Jace? Uh, mics? Oh no, Hello? not all of them. You hear me on this one? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, yeah, I'll pass this one over to Mark. Oh you can't hear in the headphones. They should be able to. They're all working. Probably welcome, kicked, welcome, I probably kicked it out. We welcome guests into the commentary box. So, to be fair, if he puts the headphones on, you'll probably hear, be able to hear yeah. them. Yeah, tend to put them on the what? other ears. On the other <laughs> <laughs> Is that any better? Nothing. Hello. Nothing again? No. Hello. You've probably yeah. turned them down, Matt. That's a shame. I'll give him mine so you two can talk to him. I well, want him to miss there's out. There's four sets of headphones down there, so, you know. That's it. Anyone who wants to come and join us in the commentary, you're more than welcome to... Uh, uh, to join us down here, it's uh, yeah, more the merrier. We've got three commentators tomorrow morning. Good afternoon. Uh, yourself, uh, Matt Hodgson, Stephen Brealey. Just yourself. Uh, Nick Stevens. Oh, uh, Nick Stevens. There's four of you in the morning, morning. two of you in the afternoon, and then special guest Mark Davies. Yeah. Uh, so at four Mark's o'clock. The, the, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway. obviously, you missed a name out there. Oh no, he's not here, is he? He's not here. He's not oh, here. Okay. Don't look, look, stop winding him up. Stop poking the bear. Oh, stop. Oh, <laughs> stop oh, poking, poking the bear. <laughs> stop poking the bear. Hello, Mr. Bewley. How are you? Oh, I was Mr. Mason, how are you? Good, thank you. Him. Mark, are you, how happy are you as chairman of the uh, Cups Committee at the moment? I'm always happy. Oh, don't look it. Well, you won't be when you s- see what Lisa wrote about you earlier. Yeah. Uh, I, I just, I, you just can't control the woman. She called you a creep. Did she? Yeah. 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 How rude. Well, that's what we thought. I'll sort her out. We didn't ban her. We yeah. thought that would be extreme. We hovering. I'll put her on washing up duties for a week. That should sort her out. <laughs> what, again? Yeah. <laughs> or still? <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, how are you, Mark? What do you think of the first half? I thoroughly enjoyed that half, and I absolutely love the amount of people we got here. It's great, isn't it? It's superb. Yeah, very good. I thought... Um, North Moulton started off very well and took control of the game, but Beer Olsen have come back in it in the last, the last half of the half, if you know what I mean. The last half. The last half of the half. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, very impressed. I think we were we were pleased, Mark, that the game has lived up to the billing that we gave it. We've given this a lot of hype. Yeah, absolutely. And it's lived up to it. Yeah, brilliant. It's it's typical grassroots two village teams playing each other, both very good sides. And you can't pick one out at the moment who's going to be the winner, which is no. always a nice thing to say. Referee, got to mention him. He's having a cracking game. Oh, he's brilliant. Yeah, superb. Absolutely brilliant. Every decision he's made, he's been right on top of the ball. No arguments. That's no, all good. All good. So, Mark, wh- which way is it going? Let's have your prediction. <sighs> I've just got a funny feeling that uh, Beer might just nick it towards the end of the second half. Okay, see, I've gone from here as well. But uh, do you need to go and see the GP again? 
Because remember last time you had a funny feeling? Yeah, you yes, had that's that diagnosis, true. Yeah, didn't you? So yeah. yeah, and it wasn't the missus either. Yeah, just be careful with that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Keep taking the tablets. <laughs> It's all good. Well, look, we couldn't ask for any more. So it's a fantastic day. It's Absolutely. a great crowd. Yeah. It's a great game. Yeah. Uh, you know, this is this is pretty much perfect for us. It was great watching though the crowd coming in off the coaches from Ford Park. Yes. The coaches were coming in one at a time. We met the we met the supporters directed to the ground. There's two or three of us helping them carry on, so they knew where they were going. And uh, it all went off to AT. So, whoever makes the Premier Cup final next year, you've got a lot to live up to. Because we expect this every year, now. We do. Every year. The last few haven't been great finals, have they? So this is really... Well, no, no, the last year's was a good final. Oh, the last one was, yeah, yeah. that's true. Mount, Mount Gould and Buckland. Yeah. Um, I can't remember who Mount Gould played in the final before. Can you? Oh, good Because they won the Cup two years in a row. Yeah. So who did they beat in the first one? Ooh, that's a good question. This is something I came back to the other day. You always remember the team that wins. You never remember yeah, what's yeah, yeah. happening. You do. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah, so yeah, that, that, that's an interesting one. If anyone from... If anyone from... Um, uh, Matt Gould is watching. Was it ex Villa or was that a champions, Throgmorton Champions Club? Did you get a photo? Oh, I, Matt, I, I can't remember. Matt, we, we certainly need to put her live. Excellent. So we got Baby Barrett. We've got Baby yeah, Barrett he's down there. going to gonna say something. Matt's boss is here as well with Baby Barrett. Yeah. No, no, Baby Barrett is Matt's boss. Oh, is she? Yeah. Oh, right, okay. She's enjoying same. herself. Yeah. She, she's loving the microphone. Yeah, she is. Just like her dad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, she's probably better than her dad at it, to oh. be fair. Oh. Oh. That's harsh. <laughs> <laughs> We're not True. arguing. But True. <laughs> <laughs> well, so talking about beer, <laughs> roughly how many pints are going to be drunk? <laughs> oh. <laughs> or going to be, or have been. Well, well either. That's a, that's a, oh, you, you know... The bar is absolutely rammed. I know. When I went in there earlier, it was literally 10 deep yeah. at the bar. Yeah. Um, and there's six of them behind the bar. There yeah. is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's loads of yeah. them behind the bar. So, uh, and it seems everyone that's coming out isn't just carrying one pint, they're carrying two. Yeah, I know. If it's 10 deep, you're not going to get one, are you? No, <laughs> no, no, you've got to go out, go for the full hog and fill yeah. your hands up. <laughs> but can we also say, Mark, how... how it's great that there's there's a lot of beer being drunk here today. There's a lot of people at the bar, but every the atmosphere here is fantastic. Yes, it is. There's there's no there's no aggression no. against each other. They're all they're chanting and singing away. Yeah, no one's been uh, nothing, nothing. No one's been it. spoken to. You no. know, you had to speak to somebody about shouting at the referee this morning. Yeah, at a youth yet, game. Yeah, <laughs> and yet here, the atmosphere is amazing. Yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah, I'm very impressed with both clubs' uh, supporters. Whether they've been told to behave themselves or not, they really have up to now. Let's hope it continues for another 45 minutes. Well, I'll tell you, I'd, I've been to beer a couple of times, uh, you know, coaching uh, and observing referees, and I, I've always liked it there. Always get well looked after. Uh, been to North Moulton as well, uh, watching their reserves. Uh, and again, that was a great great atmosphere yeah I, I, I've been to beer I've never been to Malt, North Malt for a game but beer always have vocal supporters I've yes. got to say that yeah, yeah. they always have a good following yeah. and uh, North Malton haven't let themselves down today with the following they've got here no, I, it's, it's been great it really has been great anyway so. I, bet, I think I better let Matt Barrett have his earphones and microphone back oh, he's going to flying you don't have to, Mark. Well, I'm I'm not for <laughs> clued up on the players like yeah, he is. So you know, he he does his work, doesn't he? So <laughs> does, does he? No, he's we over there now. It'll be now. Don't, don't oh, tell him that. All his mates, yeah. Well, I no, hope he so. He's in the, in the right That's office. His life is, um, yeah. you know, do right. work. To, uh, oh, if, if oh, Matt Barrett is listening, he needs to turn his, the, the microphones oh, off. Brilliant. He's um, looking at everything that's going on. He's in the workers' 
part of the office, the workers' office. Well, this is it. It's always been a good we're office gonna, for gonna, working. Gonna, there. He's on that, that, that workers' side yeah. of the divide, yeah. isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, that's, uh, that's always good always to right. see that, that great wall of. Uh, Mark, can you tell Matt Barrett now to turn the other mics off? When we do all the demonstrations, can you turn the other uh, mic off? Did you say the other mics off because yeah. we're picking up the conversation, picking up the conversation that, that's happening in yeah. there? So that's yeah, done. That's fine. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, young man. Yeah, Mark. The, uh, there was always a divide when there when it was you in the office. Yeah, that's yeah. It is. So he's 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 on. Barrett's on the uh, worker side of the divide. We're in the office that gets yeah. stuff done. Yeah. Well, it's not stuff anymore. There's but, yeah. workers one side and tea makers the other. <laughs> oh. oh. Stared 35 times clockwise. <laughs> I better hand you back to Matt Barrett now. Thanks, Excellent. Mike. Thanks, Mark. Keep up the good work, guys. Right. Big question. Yep. What's in the cool box? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's in the cool box? Yeah, that's a good point. That is a good point. Right. Big shout out to Murat James Gulu scored the goal of the decade against beer manager Mark Rook, thirty one yard back heel. Wow. Unreal scenes. Uh, Eileen, why are there no pictures at halftime? We've got nothing to show you. Um, the pitch was empty, so you just have that holding graphic on there at half time. Uh, oh, Lisa was listening to Mark, so he's in a bit of trouble. <laughs> I just, <laughs> I just Matt, saw there was a comment there. Oops. Matt, you may as well make, tell Mark he's sitting in the doghouse. Mark's uh, in the doghouse as well. All right. Jerry, can we have a view of the crowd? Uh, we'll try. We'll try and get you via the crowd uh, in, a, in a minute or so. All right. Uh, Seth Worthy, don't agree with that salute. Okay. Not sure what that means. Start second half. Right, let's go. We are underway. Don't forget, uh, B and E score two goals, please. So my prediction of 3 1 is right. It'll be the or first prediction I get right. Or North, North Martin needs to score one for me. Yeah, but you edged your bets by saying, oh, buy one goal. So it could be 2-1-3, two, 2-4-3. Oh, three, two, three. Oh, exactly. Which is a little unfair. It's you another. asked for a prediction. Uh, Chaps, have we seen anybody using the portal lose this afternoon? Uh, nope. Nope, but no. I did this morning. Somebody used them this morning. That was you, wasn't it? No. Oh. No, there was definitely somebody using them this morning. Which I thought was a bit strange because it was between the games. So... But you can guarantee if we didn't have them, yeah. <laughs> there'd be queues. You thought today would be the day that actually they'd uh, that they'd be used, wouldn't you? Stephen Brady's watching us. Good, a good, good. Ooh, in front. Oh, hello. So, really hope you are looking forward to uh, seeing you and hearing your thoughts uh, tomorrow. But again, the game has started off in the competitive mode that it finished. So, yeah, another 45 minutes of fabulous entertainment here at Coach Road. Or in the barrel of beer at uh, in, in beer on their big screen. Or in Perth, YouTube. Australia. Indeed, yeah. Or wherever. Anywhere. Yeah. Anywhere. And it's cleared but picked up again by beer and beer come again so was that actual commentary on the game that was, was. actual commentary <laughs> wow. we do a bit that, anyway. do you know, that was I don't <laughs> want to offend our viewers in France right that was uh, that was John oh, Watson yeah. but wouldn't you want to be in France today I want I'm, I want to be here Jace oh no no I'd love to be in France today why is that well they've got the Champions League final oh, Champions yeah. League final Perpignan are in the isn't, um, isn't there are in a, the rugby isn't there a Grand Prix League as well final. yeah you've got the Grand and, Prix and in tennis. Monaco tennis at Roland Garros but they don't, Jace, they don't have the sports light in Devon Premier Cup final, do they? But they've got France. YouTube. Yeah. Or Le YouTube. Le, Ch Le, Le YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> 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 so we could watch it on that. Yeah, France today would be good. Well, yeah, well. I like it here. What about you, Rich? No, I'd give, give me, me in France or would you be here? No, give me Newton Abbott, mate. <laughs> that's, that's surprising from you. I didn't think the world existed outside of Plymouth for you, Plymouth. No, give me, give me Newton Abbott. I mean, yeah. I, you know, it's quite easy for me to get to France from uh, from Plymouth, but yeah. no, give me give me Newton Abbott, especially today. They haven't got they haven't got a Premier Cup final, have they? Sports well, licensed Premier Cup final, exactly. 
brought to you by Elevate, the player development app. Are we still got that free trial on Elevate? Matt? We do, we do. A seven-day free trial. Um, if you put your club in as Devon, um, Elevate Football on the, the App Store, available on both iPhone and Android. Um, you get you get a seven-day trial. I th I'm sure you'll love it. In fact, I'd you know, I'd bet the fact that you'd love it. And Are you guaranteeing that? I'm almost guaranteeing. Ooh. I'm almost guaranteeing that you'll love it and that you will take something from it and improve as a footballer. That's Paul Frizzles up here. Is that another penalty appeal there that they're not getting? So we haven't had a real chance in this opening. No, we haven't. We three minutes. Oh, here we go. Oof. Thought that was going to be a mind full you bloody. for the whole whole game we've only had 11 attempts at goal. Well, that's a uh, strike. That's 12. just wide. I say just wide. It was comfortably wide, but it was a strike. And believe it or not, that's North Molton's first attempt off target. They're fifth of the <coughs> fifth of the game and um, first one off target. The comment from Maureen Claude. Why don't the commentators talk about the game instead of talking a lot of rubbish? Because uh, that's what we do. That is what we do. That is what yeah. we do. Uh, we're not professional in any manner. Maureen, of course, you're more than welcome to come and have a go at this. Um, yeah. and, and I'll sit at home and critique you. And in the bottom right-hand corner of the uh, your viewing screen is a little mute button where you can turn yeah, us off. Yeah, absolutely. But we're happy to give you a shout-out. And uh, we thank you for your feedback. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah, It's really good. Yeah, so look around. The, 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 this media team, we're all voluntary. Um, well, I'm not. But... Uh, you know the guys that do the commentary and girls you know Richard on the camera they're all doing it out their own time today uh, to bring you these fantastic images we are not Sky Sports we are not BT Sport uh, by any stretch of the imagination not yet uh, anyway uh, no well I don't think we're ever going to be after today Rich are we uh, we've been uh, pillar yeah. to post maybe on the radio on the radio <laughs> <laughs> without pictures but uh, you know we are what we are uh, we love doing it. We get loads of great feedback. We're not for everyone. We we get that, and you know, um, yeah. But yeah, anyone's c hey, come and have a go. Yeah, absolutely. I'd love someone to get more people to come and have a go. You know, we've uh, we've launched careers. We've launched careers. We have from this. So it's all good. Love your banter, guys. Keep going. Here we go. Love the banter, guys. Keep it going. Uh, there we go. Now we were saved. I just was looking at how to block people. Um, <laughs> so, but I forgot. Uh, so, Maureen, you can carry on for a minute. A little bit of, little bit of edge. A little bit of edge. That's what we want. Yeah. A bit of edge in the game. But, you know, it, it's, it's difficult at this stage to, to really bring you uh, a big flavour of the game because it's, it's descended at the minute into a little bit of a, yeah. uh, uh, an a tr war of attrition, shall I say. Oh, in the face. But it has. No, it's, it's, it's certainly in that middle third, isn't it? Stuck in that middle third yeah. a little bit at the moment. A throw in on the far side. Not agreed with totally, but... Say North Morton throw in. Stephen Breeney looks like the ground is packed. It pretty well is. It pretty well is. I think he gave the free kick there, didn't he? Not the uh, five hundred and forty odd people inside the ground, which puts it, Jace, whereabouts in our? I think this is the most supported final we've had. I think five hundred and twenty. Yeah, was was one. So, I think what we'll do in a minute is when we get a, a small break in play, I'll just switch to the technical area camera and we'll move it about and we'll show you what the crowd is because it's, it's fantastic. The technical yeah. area camera, I love it. Yeah, so we got. Uh, I'll show you. We got. We got fourth official cam, which which is there. So there's Mr. Allen and Tony Cloak. <laughs> we got technical area cam, which is on a bit of a want because it got knocked. <laughs> uh, and then yeah, we got our two other cameras which we're using. You can't really complain about that, can you? What coverage? Well, you can. No, no, no. no. I, 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 get, I get the point that, you know, Mary's used to watching Sky Sports and she wants this to be in the same vein, but, but we're not. We, we have a tiny percentage of their budget for a start. <laughs> Is there a budget? 
<laughs> <don't> no. <laughs> um, wow. <laughs> you know, Devon FA have put money where their mouth is and, and you know, funded the equipment that we use. Uh, we use it well. We bring you these images. If, if you think, a number of years ago, if you wanted to watch this, you had to come. Yeah. There, there was no option. Yeah. And you can even view the match day program yeah, online. from home as well. Yeah. So that's on Xeon. Uh, there'll be links on our Facebook, I'm sure, to the match day program. So it's almost as if you're here. If you're watching it in a, in a pub like... The Barrel of Beer. Like the Barrel of Beer. You can even view the match day program. We really do look after everybody. Well, we try. Matt, did I hear we it right? £200 for the 50 Yes, 50 I was just going to say. I was just going to say. Wow. So you can tell the size of the crowd. Yeah. It's a lot. It's, it's, and the keeper claims well. And I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> <laughs> Sat on the keeper. <laughs> the keeper kind of went under him. He had nowhere to go. <laughs> and he thought, well, I'll have a rest. <laughs> Which is fine. But it's great to see there's a, a group of youngsters supporting beer behind that uh, goal. So, you know, we've got uh, older supporters, you know, we've got the, the, the families and the youngsters here as well as, as beer inside the penalty area now. She checks back looking for a colleague to pass the ball to and it's it's out wide. Can it be swung in? Yes, it, it is can very be. very good ball. And it's, uh, oh, it's all the way through the way and through. the keeper claims. I think that says good things, doesn't it, about the future of the club, really? Yeah, well, the future yeah. of the game, really. Um, it's well supported by young and old, so your club's doing something right if you've got that. Oh, this is brilliant! Kind of backing, absolutely brilliant. Oh, there's, a, there's your first cramp. <laughs> oh, no, he's all right. He's okay. Yeah, well, oh, no, and the second one. <laughs> let's not forget the clubs didn't want the wa the the water break here. Right, so whilst we're here, I'm just gonna switch. Just move that one ever so slightly, so I make sure I get the right one. Let's keep that one there. So I'm just going to move the camera to here, right, and we'll show you the crowd. See if this works. So anyone watching, you can tell us if this is working. So here's your crowd. You got all these guys down there. You got your Mr. Barrett down there. Behind Mike Norman, I don't think you can give, it, see. give us a wave, Mr. Barrett. So we've got all this crowd here. Oh, yeah. We've got Across the 50 50 winner so right in front of us. Watching. So, this is all your crowd. This is the crowd here at Coach Row today. All down this end of the stand as well. There they all are, and they're down there. You've got the group of lads. We can zoom in on them over there. Beyond the North Molton group. So, there they are. Amazing. We've uh, and, we've got the and, we've got the winner of the 50-50 in front of us. They're all over there. He was literally it. sat six feet in front of us. So all those guys in front of the advertising boards over there. Here he comes. That's a beer Albion supporter. Yeah, that's that group a of kids that we talked about. Yeah. So yeah, there's there's your crowd, everyone. Uh, you're not missing any action. Uh, I stress that because we saw what the player down receiving treatment there. Uh, with cramps, you're not missing anything. Uh, yeah, so there you go. We promise you a shot of the crowd, and, and there it is. There it is. There it is. Right. So let me just pop that back in its its holder, and we'll line you up for the technical areas which are over there. And then I will go and give you another view to look at. So there you go, everyone. That's, that's your crowd here today. If you saw yourself in the crowd and you're watching, yeah, give us a shout out. Why not? Give us a shout out. Why not? Brad Skilton, who's we've, down? We've got, uh, we got a was. sub. Um, it George says Harwood. number 89 coming on. Yes, there is a number 89. Coming on for uh, number three. So Will House is coming on for George Harwood. Look at that, <laughs> look at that man. Well done, that man. So, yeah, George Harwood has gone off. Beer. Oh, here we go. We're back underway after that, uh, that short break. First substitution of the game, everyone. 
Oh, that's a bit of. Is it? And it's well, cleared well from the right back. I didn't think he was going to get to that. Bouncing around. Well, Tom Vickery's calling for Joe Southcott to come on. This so. is a disgrace. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've lost the ball. What? We've lost the ball in the tree. All the way up there somewhere. Oh, there it is. I can see it up there. Look, <laughs> look at that ball. <laughs> you hang on there, ball. <laughs> well... <laughs> Does Mr. Hayward realise that he's going to go and collect that on Monday? Yeah. <laughs> Might need that tomorrow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that looks like a Rich Hill job to me, Jake. Rich the Hill. Rich and missed, greatly missed at these finals, isn't he? Yeah, and that. And that. <laughs> I've got to say, I, 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 where that ball is, I think that's uh, Paul Morrison's going to shoot it down. <laughs> <laughs> he's not shooting today, he's got his jacket on. Yeah. Oh, there's an. Oh, and it's dropped oh. in, the <laughs> in the field. <laughs> Not who another that, one. Who was that council member over there that dropped it? He should have just headed, Dave Loder. He should have just headed it back. Get, get in, give it one of them. Have it. No so it's one-one as we approach the hour. Oh, yeah, tough one. Tough one's cool. Joe Southcott is the equivalent to a prime Michael Owen. Get the poor sod on. <laughs> the poor sod. <laughs> There is someone getting ready on the uh, North Mountain. Who is it we're looking he out is. for then? Joe Southcott, yeah, number 14. Yeah, 14, number 14. Oh, a chance for Here we go. The... Here's an opportunity. Beer into the penalty. It's pulled Good across. Oh, that's a, a great, great ball. ball. Oh, oh. oh. missed that. Fantastic ball from I'll the tell you what, if he had bigger boots on, if he had oh, bigger what? boots on, he's scoring that. What a ball. Just couldn't wrap his foot around it. Taylor did Rook just couldn't wow. get to it. Or couldn't get a good enough connection on it and a chance goes begging just on the hour mark what's that who was that on the far side was that uh, Liam Cox Liam Cox yeah number 7 Liam Cox with a ball across and uh, he's looked a threat actually all afternoon oh, you mentioned him in the first that half was, that was brilliant and it was at Taylor Rook not able to uh, uh, to put the ball in so it stays 1-1 in this sports lighting Premier Cup brought to you by Elevate the Play Development cool, I thought that app. ball was going to come up here <laughs> Have you uh, had a chance to speak to Kim Presswood today, Matt? Yep. Yeah. Uh, our sponsors, Sports Lighting, uh, for all your floodlight needs, whether it's you're thinking of getting them or you're, you've got some and they need a bit, they need a test. Servicing. Uh, uh, yep, servicing and a test. Yeah, that, I mean, talking to Kim uh, when he pops into the office, that's perhaps the most important thing to do with floodlights, isn't it, is get them serviced. Yes. Um, so here we go. Here we go. Here he is. Here we go. So you are going to get your wish as Jamie Gifford departs and is going to be replaced by Joe Southcott. But yeah, so Sports Lighting, obviously a, a big, a great relationship we've got with them. Um, any of your, sport, your floodlighting needs. Kim Presswood's details are on our Facebook on here. Well, links to his Facebook Sports yeah, Lighting yeah. UK, and he's local. And he's local. <laughs> and he goes everywhere. He goes everywhere. I see it everywhere. I see oh, him in yeah, Aberdeen, in Aberdeen the other week. But I can imagine if you've got floodlights and you're a club in Devon, that actually, why would you not go to yeah to, to Sports Lighting? Because you know you call him out, and he, he can be at your ground within hours. Lewis, Lewis Cottam, shout out to Morgan, a.k.a. Killian, Mb Killian Mbappe. <laughs> Tracy Evans, go Joey. I haven't finished talking about Kim yet. Go and follow Kim Pesswood on Facebook. Yes. Because then you can see the stuff that James does. Yes. James with his hover... Flyboarding, is it? Oh, I don't know what it is, but it's amazing. It looks amazing. But yeah. yeah, yeah. Another, Kim's, another conf stuff? Kim's confident he's got Paul Morrison to... Uh, he's going to have a go at it. He's going to have a go at that, that flyboarding. Really? Apparently so. <laughs> I... I said to him, "You can have his, you can have his sponsorship money back if he gets him to do that." We will live we stream. Will that. Live stream we got another that. sub. Yeah, it looks uh, like that. Uh, number six, six going is, off for beer. Six is coming off for beer. So six is Jack, Jack Har Harwood. Jack Harwood so leaving the, us. That's yeah. his, I think the br the two Harwood brothers have now departed us. And so the Josh George French coming on. And Josh French is coming on. 
Yeah, you don't normally see uh, substitutions being made at corners. No. Be interesting if he scores now. Will he take him straight back off? <laughs> it's a great Towards ball. Him. It's a great. He's 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 there. He, he was there, there wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Put that down as a shot off target. Shout out to Stephen Hardy, the owner of the Volvo squad. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen Hardy, Seaton Seconds manager. Why Why the second Seaton Seconds called the Volvo squad? The Volvo squad? Yeah. Brilliant. I'm trying to think why, possibly why it could be. <laughs> the keeper's getting a bit of grief there. Penalties down that end will be in. Oh, he's pulled something. This could be uh, a problem for North Mole. The keeper is... is uh, Pulled the muscle there. Yeah, keepers in a bad way down there, Mr. Barrett. Right, okay. I don't I don't suppose they've got a specialist on the on the bench. But I'm sure he'll manage to You don't come off in a Premier Cup final, you, do you? You try not to. You try not to. Wonder whether he'll carry on taking his kicks. I think that's a, that's a conversation we've had, isn't it, many a time yeah. on commentary about defenders taking kicks. So is this North Moulton's first corner of the second half? Let's see if they can uh, do something with this. Craig Sandal, any na any team with beer in their name, I support. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> it's a there good ball go. as well. Oh, oh, oh well held. Well, 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 he took a hell of a hit there, didn't he? But he's There's a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of afters in there. That was a great take from the keeper. The keeper's got it the was ball in his hands. Well done. I think he's going to get the free kick. And there's yellow a yellow card. card. Ah. Yellow card for uh, young Mr. Stoneman, the first member of the yellow card club. Pick any seat you want on the yellow card bus because you're the first in it. <laughs> Pick another driver's seat. <laughs> No more buses, Jay, surely. We don't want any more buses. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, Paul Frizzle has done an amazing job looking after the buses down there. Right. All passengers have safely dropped off. Yeah. Uh, we've got the two buses on site, so the traffic management plan is in, in place and working. I wouldn't doubt Frizz for a second. Well, we've got to say it was down to uh, Paul Morrison and Dawn Rainbow for coming up with yes. that Yes, the rainbow. Yeah, so well executed. They come up with the ideas, we execute them. Fantastic job done. So next year's Premier Cup final, we expect at least seven coaches. That's the challenge. Least, well, we at can, least we can work with seven, can't we? Yeah. We know that seven, seven works. So maybe we should have that in the Premier Cup entry form. How many fans have you got? Yeah. And if it's less than 400, you're not coming in. So, yeah, cup entries, affiliations now open. So, yeah, make sure you, if you want to be here, you've got to enter it. Just uh, and a point on that, Jace. There's an interesting Q&A, wasn't there, with Dan Eustace in the week. Uh, if you've got any questions, they might well have been answered in that video. So ch check out our Facebook um, for a live, or for the, it's not live now, is it, but a Q&A. Uh, Dan's good live, isn't he? About affiliations, yes, of course yeah. he is. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. He, he, I think he's quite nervous beforehand, but once we got underway... Uh, yeah, he was he was great. Yeah, really, really good uh, on a, on a live Q and A. You've taught him well, Mister Barrett. Well done. Ah. You're his mentor. <laughs> <laughs> I am indeed. There's another player down on the. The keeper is actually making a little bit of a uh, signal now that he needs a little bit of help as well. <laughs> There's a fair few out there that need a little bit. Yeah, he's gone down now, so oh, this will be interesting. Be a bit of added time on at the end of this one, won't there? I imagine. Well, just don't forget, we've got, what, 32 minutes to go, yeah. plus stoppages, uh, before we might have to go straight to penalties. And then who's your money on? Yeah, yeah well. There's always a lottery in net penalties. <laughs> We've had some we've had some interesting penalty shootouts, haven't we? The case of Adam Seedhouse Evans saving every penalty. 
saving four. I mean, these are Exeter City scholars as well. So th- yeah, these so are they're not. These are talented boys, aren't they? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Saved every pen. They didn't miss any. He saved them. <laughs> Sasha Mole. Sasha Mole. Yeah. Outfield player playing a goal. Saved two penalties in the shootout. Scored her own as well. Yeah. Wow. So I'm sure they'll be. We have no Ashley Harris's in pen. We have no one clear the netting, have we? So no. no. Ashley Harris hasn't been taking pens. Although he is from North Devon. North Bolton are in the North Devon area, so, oh, I don't know. I wonder what he'll be up to today. Ash. Probably on another stag do. No, he'd be preparing for Champions League final. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. Oh, is it? Oh, here we go. Oh, it's off the back and away. Well, we won't put that as a shot on target. Yeah. Not really an, uh, an effort on goal, a hopeful jump. See, it's not not easy scoring penalties at this ground. I, I mean, I've done it, of course. I don't doubt that. Tuck shop. Won the penalty, scored the penalty. Yeah. Is that, in that, in, is that that infamous staff game where Rich Hill yes. was the referee? Yes. 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 I've heard many a story about yes. that. Where the ball was clearly out of From play. From Dan and his old man. <laughs> yeah, clearly out of play. Not given. They equalised from the pullback. We'd all stopped. It's, you know, it's our own fault. We always get told, well, play to the whistle. Play, play to the whistle. Yeah, didn't. And sin- yeah. since that day, he's been taken on as a member of staff, hasn't he, Rich? Yes. So I don't know how. Well, so we can abuse him about it in the <laughs> office. We don't have to wait till we next see him. We know he's in there mo- Monday yeah. to Friday nights five, so we can talk to him about it then. Uh, he's a great member of staff, isn't he, Rich? What a legend. Yeah, he is a legend. Everyone knows him, don't they, as well? Well, I got here this morning at half past seven, and uh, he was already here. Yeah. Um, moving the goals about and then he really? went and did the changing rooms he was moving the goals he didn't yeah. need to do that he did no, not need to do that no. but you know what, what he's like what a top oh he's a top man he's a credit so he's a credit um, a substitution to this nine nine coming on for North Moulton no. nine is Alfie Nichols. he'll be entering the play and he'll take the place of Adam so who's going Jarrett. off I think it's number eight, Adam Jarrett. Eight and, eight eight, and nine, eight isn't eight's it? Eight's gone off behind the yeah. goal. He's got it the, the Eight's wrong already way gone off up there. That's all right, we've got it. No worries. Eight, eight's gone off. Yeah. Oh, Christ. <laughs> I, I can't hear the PA. No, it's <laughs> that, that, that That's how loud it is in, that the, in, in here. I can't hear, hear the PA. <laughs> there you go, cleared away from danger and by beer there. And we literally have a have a speaker about oh, yeah, five I'm yards that way. <laughs> oh, we still can't I've got a microphone in my hand, I'm, I'm literally sat on his lap. Uh, <laughs> <Pardon? are you? laughs> I know. Well It's not you uh, it's an adult game, no, isn't it? I'm not saying it. Of course it. we know where yeah, now, it's okay. I'm not saying it. That's all right, mate, no problem. <laughs> I was going to say, is sure it's a mic? No, 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> Move on, please. Angie Mills, hello, Nathan Mack, Charlie Zeman, Darren Baker. Brilliant, it was a good Q&A. Yes, it was. Dan was great. Jason Kingsman watching. Jason, I haven't seen you for a while. James Blaine, uh, Bob Sully, Kemp Pigeon, <laughs> Gavin Weeks. Bradley Conway. <laughs> Stop chatting about the barrel of beer, the barrel of Seaton. Alfie Tucker Vincent is on the. That begins in P. <laughs> Alfie. Is, it, is there is there a barrel of Seaton? I hope there is. Maybe we need to rename well, the. Tell us what, what's the top pub in Seaton? Come on, tell us. What's the top pub scene? I'm coming to Seaton for a drink. I can only go to one pub. Where should I go? Tell me. North Mountain keeper is down again. He's struggling, isn't he? Yeah. This could be game changing. Yeah, I did tell you. He, he hurt himself in that goal kick. You can see on the bench as well, they're looking at each other like, yeah. who's, who's it going to be then? <laughs> I ain't going. <laughs> no, I'm not going. <laughs> if we notice all, all the defenders now have their heads down, looking away from this the is the area. This is the time <laughs> where, and I've seen it many times, the subs will go and warm up and they'll go and stand in the corner down the far end as far yeah. away from the manager as possible. Well, there's, there's, Cause there's they do not want to be getting this call. The, the fullback is almost on the fence this side. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, looking at the crowd. No, no, if, if, if I don't look at the manager. He can't make me go and yeah. go. So, Mr. Barrett, is this? Do you have a 
second goalkeeper in mind at the start of the game? Or um, not? You sh I should say yes, shouldn't I? But not well, not really. I, I was always quite lucky, actually, that I've, I've had players play for me that can do a job in goal. Right. Uh, other than the main one. So you you know where to you you know where you're looking at least he can go and run he could go and run down to the lake and I'd know where he I know that I'd be calling on him <laughs> but um yeah you you do almost take it for granted though that your keeper's gonna your keeper's gonna make it through yeah, yeah. the game almost so with with the keeper down now do do you get a message onto the boys where let's drop that ball in that area between yes. defence and yes. To see if he can come yeah. out, or because you'll know as well what's, that the, op the opposition. What's strange is North Moulton have just made a sub. Right. Okay. Um, t Twelve and eighteen. Um, it seems strange if the keeper's down injured that they've made a sub straight away. You know, obviously gambling that he is going to be all right. Twelve and eighteen. That's what it looked like. Yeah, it was. Twelve's come. Twelve's come on, Josh Wren. Have we got a goal in this one, chaps? I, I, was, so. I, I was only questioning it because North Moulton haven't got a number 18. So, oh. <laughs> he did put 18 <laughs> up. <laughs> um, so, yeah, yeah I'm a bit at <laughs> loss. Who, who's, who's, who's come off? Come so off. there's 12 men out there, is what we're trying to say. That's a nice touch around the corner. See if I can uh, try, and, try and work it out. So it's not nine. It's not... Sorry, I'm talking. Oh, that's a free kick on the edge of the box for beer. The Clarence, that's where all the beer boys line up. That's the players in blue. They're all from Seaton. Is this number, another member of the Yellow Car Club? They're asking for it. Yeah, well, quite vociferously. <laughs> yeah. It was a clear foul. It's the right decision, isn't it? Yeah. So, you know. Nine, number nine for beers. Quite. <laughs> had to be pulled, pulled away. Oh, I was going to say he had to be pulled away. Didn't <laughs> it's the opposition keeper who's pulled him away? It's a red card. Yeah. That's a red card. It is a red card. Yeah. North Bolton number three. Number five's going. Number five. Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's broken our duck. Yep. We but had to have one, didn't we? Well, the thing is, he's not argued. No. He's, he's, he's seen the colour of the card and he's gone. So he must have known it was coming. Yeah, that's uh, well. That's ch changed things dramatically now. Um, how long we got left, Chase? Fifteen. Uh, Is that right? Yeah, just taking over into the seventy-seventh minute. Okay. So you know, if uh, it's interesting because the the North Molton player was he was already on a yellow. Ah. Um, but I, I didn't see a yellow come up. I saw a straight red. Yeah, I, yeah. So that well, that does change things. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. Like you say, Jason, he didn't. He didn't argue. No, nope. he just. Uh, oh, Mick Tassel's in Barry Island. Oh, get on. So, can Beer make this uh, player advantage count? So don't forget North Moulton. We still don't know who's gone off for this substitution, by the way. Uh, but they've made the third. Sub.
It's all very good. <laughs> I don't know whether there's a state of shock or what after that. Right, I think I, I just I'm still trying to work out this uh, substitution. I think it's 16 that went off. Right. For Josh Wren, so I'm going to I'm going to do that. So confirmation on the screen: the substitution that was made before the sending off. Uh, for you there, as we just try and work that out. Lorcan uh, ha Lorcan Hankins watching from Rome, Italy. <laughs> Tom Vickery, what happened for the red card? Your stream cut off. Uh, yeah, bad tackle. We're not sure, Tom, whether it's a second yellow or a straight red. Uh, young. It's a good ball. There we go. But we'll break off. Number 89. The ball into the box, but straight. the keeper is struggling. Really. Yeah, yeah, he really is, isn't he? This is going to be a hanging on job, I think. To, so, to North Malt with a man down and with an injured keeper. Yeah. Who got bin for North Moulton? Uh, Mick, that was uh, Josh Stoneman. Josh, Josh Stoneman. Stoneman already on a yellow card. As I say, repeat, we're not sure whether it was a. Um, a second yellow or a red. We only saw the red go up, so. Uh, he's gone. And somebody's smoking out of turn. <laughs> so are they going to be down to nine men? This will be interesting. It's all about discipline now, Matt. What, what can you do as a manager to influence this? There's not uh, there's not a lot you can do from over there, really, without without a break in play. Um, you're just uh, you're trying to keep everybody calm, but in the same sense, it, there's a lot right, like... The managers have got the stress as well. Do you know what I mean? They're involved in the yeah, game yeah. as well. So they're keeping their own emotions in check. Yeah. Um, I always like to think you, you try and take that away from the players almost by you being the one to talk to an official. Yeah. But it's a difficult one because you, you want to win so badly. Um, it's just about keeping your emotions in check, I guess. Well, I suppose you've got to get the message out. They're not losing. No. So it's not as if you're a goal down and a man down. It's still in this. It certainly perked the crowd up a little bit. Yeah. That's uh, sending off. That's a good ball. Oh, he's, he's and he's on. onside. He's onside. Oh. Taylor Rook with a chance. That's a chance. That's a great That's chance. A big, isn't it? big chance. Oh. With, uh, under 15 is minutes to go. Yeah. Oh, I didn't think you might. I'm trying to get the camera to work as well. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, substitution coming up for beer. So this is their third and final substitution. Fourth officials trying to work out the board. We're trying to work out who's going on and off. We're having a look. So you can see. Number 15. 15 and 10. 15 is on Brooklyn Wilkins. And he will replace so Chris Long. So Brooklyn Wilkins, chance to make himself a hero. <laughs> With about 10 minutes to go. Yeah, we've just taken over into 82. We've had a lot of stoppages. So I think we're going to get a fair amount of, of additional time. He's really struggling with those kicks yeah. now, isn't he, the keeper? No, I think you're, you're right there, Oh, we've got a lovely little red card icon on the graphics. I like that. Well, that's the first one we've had, Jay. So, uh, first oh, time we've had nice. to see yeah, it. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> I wish we could have it without a player, I think, to be sent off. Uh, <laughs> an offside for North Moulton. Their fifth offside of the game. Beer have only been offside once. So, uh, thanks to Elevate, Elevate are bringing you uh, this broadcast and all these stats. So, thank you to them. Three games tomorrow, 10, 1 and 4 for the under-13 girls, under-15 girls, under-18 girls, all sponsored by the great British confectionery company. Uh, Frank Baker of the Great Hope, the wedding today has gone well. A beautiful day for it. You've got some goodies as well, haven't you, if you come in hey, he's you come into again. the ground tomorrow? Yeah. He always uh, he pulls it out of the bag. Was, Good was old Frank. Was that him delivering the boxes earlier then? Yeah, it yeah. would have been, yeah. Yeah, no, he's, he's come to see us. So brought more of the uh, little personalised 
uh, boxes of the, the, the travel suites that the girls can have tomorrow, which has got the company logo on and county finals, which is brilliant. It's a lovely touch. Imagine if Kim bought a floodlight for everyone. Gives <laughs> oh. <laughs> a floodlight to everyone. Oh, oh there we go. That, here we go. Here oh, we dear. Go, here yeah, we that's go. Here we go. Oh. Is it going to... I think like he'd be lucky to escape some yeah. action here. Uh, lucky boy. But Luke, no, you can't fault uh, Luke's control over this game. I think he's got the, uh, he's got the free kick right because there, there was a hold, you know, and he was uh, trying to get his... Yeah. North Mountain player was trying to get away. Um, Here we go, the free kick's delivered inside the penalty area, a bit cleared away. Uh, we're lacking some real concrete match action. We've had the, you know, Beer should be one up with the shot that uh, uh, they had earlier that couldn't quite convert. Other than that, still that battle in the middle. Matt Barrett's still here. Yep, I am. Rich Mason's still here. I am indeed. Excellent, I'll shut up then. <laughs> no, you don't have <laughs> to. Me. You just woke me up. Um, <laughs> it's gone a bit quiet, hasn't it? Around uh, since the red, d yeah. I think, you, think? Every, like you say everyone seemed to be in a bit of shock, yeah. They kind of came out of nowhere. Um, um, I'd love to watch it back. How many viewers have we got? Well, we right? can watch it back. Now. Viewers, That's the viewers are looking very good 188 across the two platforms. Wow, 188 plus 500 wow. odd here in you know, actually in the ground, plus 200 people at the, at the beer, barrel of beer. Barrel of beer. Yep. Yeah, it's got to be a thousand viewers. And a few at the barrel of seating as well. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we, we could t 5,000 at least. Yeah. I'll be amazed if 5,000 people are <laughs> watching this game. As we go, the last five minutes of the 90. Yes, shoot. That's a great oh. strike. Oh. Oh, well held. Oh. The keeper's on, you know, on his one leg. As he he, he throws well, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. I say, he was a little bit... Um, and that's a... Rubbish ref. Is it out to free kick? I'm not sure what people are complaining about on that one. People will complain, Jace, won't they? Well, yeah, about, apparently so. You know, about anything. David Warren, never a red card. Disagree. Uh, John Drake, uh, Coley Ball, up the tram. Up the trams? Oh, they'd be seating them, wouldn't they? Up the trams? They've got the trams down at seating, haven't they? Yeah. Well, have, yeah. Yeah. Jack White and Ed Keno will never give up. Viva La Greens. <laughs> Shoot, lads, keeper's got one leg. Well, we have made that point, but he's, he's doing the business. As, as that last yeah. he proved, he can get off Patch the ground. Patrick and, uh, Smith, two, 200 people watching from Lizzie Road up the Molten. <laughs> 10,000. We've got 10,000 then. Add all these people up. This is great. We need to do a cup draw from Lizzie Road. Yeah, let's go. Let's, let's go, go to North Lizzie Road. So that's two sorted for next year. Yeah. So couple, we'll go to the sponsors again uh, uh, as usual because I want to see how Scott Rich's green wall is getting on. Yeah, it's growing, I is believe. This the, yeah. is this the growing wall. Yeah. So if anyone else wants us to come and do a cup draw, let us know. We'll come to you. We'll bring the bowls, we'll bring the balls, and we'll do some cup draws. About five to go, Jace, maybe less, but but four. Well, we're, we're just turning to 87 minutes Eight, now. Right, okay, so three. Yeah, Got plus a lot of injuries, though, and stoppages, yes. so there's going to be some addition. What would you be putting up on the board? Uh, five. Five. I'll go for five. Rich, how yeah, many yeah. are you in? I'd take six. Uh, uh -huh. More cramp. Here we go. It's got to be a chance. Oh, no, he slipped at he the wrong moment. And, he's not and you that. wanted a penalty, which you're not getting. We've got another North Malton player down with cramp. But he up he gets and he went there's a foul there now all of a sudden the keeper can run yeah <laughs> <laughs> he's got to the edge of his penalty area quite quick okay so all eyes on the fourth Barrett how, how many minutes are you putting up on the fourth oh, we, it'd have to be it'd have to be five so it stops so often in so the second half Oh, let's record again. Are we both um, going to have to banish Mr. Mason from the office if he's wrong and we're right? 
Oh, I hear, well, he can't cut. Yeah, he'll have to stop coming in. I ain't coming all he wants next week. I'm not there. Ah, oh. <laughs> see for yourself. Oh. So I get a week ban from the office, and yes, Jay's sent there. That's right. <laughs> well, that means you don't get any uh, any coffee then. That's fine. Well, you can leave it at the door. He can pick oh. it up himself. Oh. He you don't get out of that. He might as well just walk away, walk into the kitchen. And uh, make it's it the, it's the making it, isn't it? Yeah. But it's the way you make it, Rich. Oh, thanks, mate. Yeah, I've made him coffee, and he says, he always says, thanks, Jace. It's not, it's not as good as Mason's. Yeah. It's not a Mason. Always says that, yeah, yeah. We're talking about what we drink again, fellas. Oh, sorry, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, so sorry. It's coffee, though, isn't it? Sorry to the viewers in France. Yeah. They have coffee in France. They do. They have lots of coffee Cafe. in France. Cafe. Le Cafe. Yeah. Oh, Here we go. It's a good Opportunity. Ball. Oh, wow. And where's this going? Corner to beer. He cleared the fence. <laughs> cleared the fence, though, <laughs> yeah. the fence. <laughs> so, four corners to five in favour of North Malta. This is beer's fourth corner of the game. And they've really turned it around in, in, uh, in chances as well. The ten chances on goal, uh, six off target, four on. North Malton just registering just the five. They're not rushing to take this corner, are they? Ball in from the far side, but it's yeah, it's over everybody. It's behind everybody and even, and it's, it's kind of cleared. Oh, Whoa. that's just bounced <laughs> off him, isn't he, really, there? It's a good flick. Oh, it's a good flick, Helen. Right, it's flick. Oh, what a block oh, that is. Block. What a block that is. <laughs> what, what a block. A block. <laughs> what a block. 15 Harley Ashdown. And a great header as well. <laughs> that's just some fantastic defending. Harley Ashdown, has he not been playing up front? And then he comes up with a block like that. Keepers. Fantastic. Keeper's taking a, as long as he possibly can here. <laughs> Gives him a nice gentle pat on the bottom. Right, so we're into the 90. All eyes on the fourth official, who's still trying to work out the board. It's coming up, and it is five. Five. Five minutes, Mr. Mason. You are hereby uh, banned. Oh, yeah, but that's a minimum. Yeah, we didn't ask that. We asked for minutes on the board. You were right. Just admit you were wrong. So, 10-man North Moulton holding on here if against uh, Beer. Don't forget, North Moulton took the lead. After about 10 minutes, Beer fought back to equalise before we came into half-time. And best chances in the second half have gone to Beer, both before and after the sending off. So, the barrel of Beer will be rocking at the moment. Lizzie Road will be... Uh, chewing their fingernails up in North Moulton to see where this is going to go on to uh, penalties but Patrick Smith reckons that South Moulton have got this on pens all day long all, all day or long or so North Moulton yeah where did I say South South Moulton <laughs> North Moulton <laughs> oh, South Moulton North Moulton sorry it's a swear word yes I believe that one old that's, that's almost the same as getting two, two ladies teams oh, next Buckland and Torquay <laughs> yeah I've done that I've got a history of doing that sorry <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Lee Chamberlain watching. Lee Chamberlain, the nicest uh, player uh, I've had the privilege of refereeing in the South Devon League. Yeah, it's good to have you on, Chamber. Hope all is well. Hope the family's good, sir. Good player. Oh. Lee Chamberlain, Barrett. Good player? Yeah, yeah. Um, he's a nightmare to manage against. Yeah, I could, yes. I was, just, I was so engrossed in this game. <laughs> I thought, oh you no, can't really great, look away, can you? No, 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 you can't. You, yeah, with 92 minutes, we've got three minutes additional to go. And you can't look away. It could keep going, couldn't it? Yeah. For all like, yeah. He's one of them where you'd... This is where you want golden goal, isn't it? Yes. Oh. Golden goal. Just play till someone wins, lads. Never lasted next, long next enough. Next to wins. <laughs> yeah. it, it came in for a little bit, didn't it, golden goal? Yeah. Well, how often do you see them in a game? And you'd have seen it. I've seen it in plenty of cup games where it's nil-nil, it's one-one. It goes to extra time, and then someone scores in the first minute. Yeah. You go, well, why did why didn't you do that earlier? So here we go. North Morton on the break. Is this the opportunity to seal it? Is this the opportunity to grab the Sports Lighting Premier Cup? There you go. Oh, there you are. Have a shot. It's oh, oh, it's over. High, wide, and not so handsome. 
I don't think that was an intentional one too, but uh, it certainly worked out. You take it, don't you? You'll take it. Oh, guys, I'm, I'm buzzing for pens. I am absolutely buzzing for penalties. Which end are they going to go, Jace? Oh, I've got to go Portaloo end. Got to go. Do you know, that's exactly what I've just said to, uh, to Jason as well. Matt. Got to go Portaloo end. We've got a player down injured at the moment as well. Uh, Kevin Hale's watching. Kevin, thank you very much for watching, sir. Uh, Anna Jane Dodgevine. Uh, no, no, not kind words, Lee. It's uh, it's fact, mate. You always always a pleasure to get on with. Uh, Martin Piggott watching. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, yeah, all pens. I'm buzzing for this. Can't wait for pens. Let's see what we do as the balls launch through. Has either of these teams got a chance left in them? I'm not sure they have, to be honest. Um, they've not really. Beer haven't really taken advantage of the the, the, the man. No advantage. No, it's no not really, It doesn't really look like a, they're a man down. North they, they've, they've gone three up top, and they're pushing that fourth and fifth player up there. But they've not got the ball up there, have they? North yeah. Moulton are dealing with it. Yeah. you've got to say they are yeah, dealing they with the pressure that's coming their way. Another one down. Oh, so that's another player. Right, whilst we got another player down, let's have uh, player of the match, please. Yes. Uh, you know, Kim will choose it from uh, Sports Lighting, but let, let, let's have our own little vote, our own little uh, competition here. So, player of the match, please. You've only got uh, a minute or so before this game finishes, plus what we're stopping here before we go into pens. Player of the match, Richard. Player of the match. Do you know what? I knew you were going to come to me first. Um, <laughs> Uh, I don't really. You don't know. You don't know. One, no. You're the one that's been watching the game through the cameras. Yeah, exactly through the cameras. Know. Yeah, but you see everything. Mr. Barrett, player of the match. Uh, um, Mr. Barrett's been watching one. the cameras. It's a, yeah, it's a tough. It really is a tough one. Um, it's that. I thought <laughs> mic has gone off. Yeah, I couldn't. I don't. I pass. Um, I would say maybe. Maybe Liam Cox of beer. Okay, I'm going Luke Turner, centre half for North Yeah. Okay. I think that he's really yeah, stepped yeah. since they've gone down to ten. He's really stepped yeah. up. He was playing well before that. Don't get me wrong, but he's taken control and embossed it back there. You could Dylan Williams uh, get a uh, Dylan Williams maybe he scored as well. He scored the goal. I was going to say. So my, my I was yeah, I, Dylan Williams. I'm going to change it. Dylan Williams, yeah. for me, player okay. of the match. Rich, you're still not. You're what? still not sure. There it is. There we go. What was intriguing with that is you both came up with one player from each side. So that yeah. goes to show how tight the game's been. Well, at least we come up with a player. Oh yeah, yeah. Any of the twenty-one that's out there, Jace. <laughs> All the ones yeah. that are sat in the direct. Um, so we're going to penalties. <sighs> we are the dreaded pens. Wow! 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 Matt, have you ever managed any penalty shootouts? Yes. How did you get on? Won a Fred Hewins Cup on penalties. Wow. Um, we at King State beat Vo Watcom Wanderers when Watcom Wanderers had a hell of a side. Right. Vol volunteers? Was so that the Sean Finch side? Yes. And, uh, yeah, we, uh, we who, somehow who hung in there. and M Mikey Fieldhouse? Yeah, all of them. All, all of the who was the other? They had a real... Mikey Fieldhouse played on the left wing. Who played on the right wing that was uh, amazing? I can't remember his name. I think as well they had Royston Carrington <laughs> in midfield, I think. Yeah, absolutely. So General in there. They had some character. But it was one of those. We kind of, we we were hanging on a little bit. Is that we the side where Scotty Cordroy played in goal as well? Yes. I think, I'm not sure if he was in goal that day, but um, it was it was a strong it was a strong outfit. And we managed, yeah, we just pulled it off on penalties. Uh, there was a couple of penalties where they, they the, 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 the line the, the assistant referee spotted keepers coming off the line uh, we had a penalty saved but the keeper had come off his line so it's retaken and scored oh, okay. so there was a couple of those uh, um, but did you look for volunteers or did the players come forward and go um, I'm going to take I, one I always have my in my mind who I'd want to take them in terms of kind of character and technical ability say but you always you, you love a volunteer. You you really love a volunteer because it takes a hell of a lot of confidence and bottle to to step up 
and put their name forward. So, yeah, if they put their name forward, you normally include them in the five. Yeah. Uh, okay. And don't forget that, actually, Bia need to reduce to uh, ten, don't they? Right. Okay. So they've got to uh, basically now nominate someone that's not going to take a penalty. So I dare say there are plenty of volunteers for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, Mark, Mark's looking at me, pointing to the the portal. Yeah, end. we've uh, we've we've had that signal. Okay, We're good. going portal end. Good. So those those players, Matt, that are going to take them. Get, yeah. Get, know what you know what you're going to do with it. Don't change your mind. Yeah, that's basically. Um, have uh, confidence. No, there's no. You want to say there's no pressure on them? Of course there is, but are, are we want to you, try and keep them. Are you a foot through it, or? A no, I never was actually. I was a place. No. I was a place. You're you're a place. I was a place person. Uh, right, it, okay. More and more, isn't there kind of foot through it jobs? Yeah. <laughs> uh, these just, days. Just just to interrupt. Sorry, the portaloos are being used. Yay! Por portaloo alert! Portaloo alert! Well, <laughs> hurry them up because bog, bog TV. <laughs> Bog TV. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you wouldn't want the door to fling open in the middle of a penalty shootout, there would you? There he comes. There he's <laughs> just come out now. So, stats are up on screen. It's quite interesting reading. You know, second half at least. That, that second half flew by, didn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah, it was nail biting. It now, was, it? yeah, it was. Absolute nail biting. And there wasn't much chanting in the second half. So the uh, goalkeeper going to be a hero, do you think, here? Uh, possibly, yeah. We've had, we're saying we've had two already, haven't we? So yeah. This game will be decided from Kingston, and we wish both... Jamie Tate would slot one in for the trams. <laughs> Excellent. Lizzie Rhodes going Banzai with... <laughs> Who beer team lives here? <laughs> uh, Lizzie Rhodes going Banzo. Rhodes now closed. <laughs> Huge street party up the trams. Wow. Uh, Alan Beer, I'm sure he doesn't. Um, Snag <laughs> Army. <laughs> beer balls. Apples, uh, it's, it's, uh, so is it uh, North Malton to go first? Uh, right, let's. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 15. 15 yeah, for North 15. Malton. And that is Harley Ashdown. I, I, I remember a comment early on in the game, earmarking him as a good player. Um, as one to watch, so Harley Ashdown is first. He's up against Elliot Driver in the Beer Albion goal. So North Here Molten to still. take the first one. Safe. <laughs> what a save that was as well, by the way. Great save. Wow. I think that was a very good save, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, it's a theme here this year, isn't it? Yeah. Penalty saves. A couple of supporters have stood on the benches over there. We've <laughs> seen the amount of work that's gone into those benches. <laughs> I would not be standing on there. No, we're test testing Rogers' carpentry skills. Yeah. <laughs> Great save. Yeah. Back on your line, keeper. It's not there, is it? Here we go. Beer's first pen. What are they going to do with it? Get in, Elliot, lad. Beer yeah, ball. Yeah. We and Charlie Skilton scored in the game. He scored the equalising goal. And he is up first for Beer. And that's no, there's no doubt with that one. Went the same way. Keeper guessed right as well. But a great penalty. Was a few words between the two players as they crossed there. Let's see. So six. Six is Andrew Alexander. I feel he's got to score here, hasn't he? Yes. You never want to take the, pe the second penalty after a, a miss, do you? I don't think. Pressure. Oh, oh what great, a pen. great pen. And a shush as well for the... <laughs> 
for the spectators. That's what we like. <laughs> so it's one all on pens with Beer having their second pen to come. Score this for the advantage. Tony Pinder. So Ali kneeling down on one knee in the centre circle to get a good shot. Still taller than Paul Allen. <laughs> Right, here we go. So Tony Pinder. Second pen for beer. Against James Campbell. <laughs> Scored. So 2 1. Advantage beer. Wonder what's happening in the barrel of, of at beer the now. Yeah, Jace, let us know. Let us Jace, know. Champions League goes to penalties tonight. Going to be more nerve wracking than this, <laughs> or is it? Let us know what's going on in the barrel of beer right now. Let's see North Moulton's third penalty. And oh, oh goal! Two-two. <laughs> the noise down that end is is. That. Tremendous. This is Callum Hutchings. A great penalty. Okay, to give. You've got to love the passion, haven't you, here, Jace? Oh, it's brilliant. From the, uh, it's amazing. This is, this is grassroots football. Yeah, this isn't, at this isn't best. Premier League. This isn't, you know, football Josh league. This is grassroots football. Josh French, a second half substitute. To give Beer the advantage once again. He oh, does. and he does. <laughs> so the perfect penalties from Beer, three from three. Is that first miss for North Malt going to prove costly, I wonder? Let's see. Can North Malt get it back to three all? Got to score, got to score. If you miss this, you give Beer the opportunity to win the Sports Lighting Premier Cup with their next kick. Can I just say we've got 267 viewers across That's the two. That's amazing, isn't it? Across the two. Go on, North Walton. Oh, oh, just about. Great pen. Penalty from Josh Wren. Great. Uh, another second half substitute. So, Taylor Rook. Get on. This is great. Three all on pens. Beer with their fourth penalty. Can they make it the perfect four out of four? And to put this surely, if he scores this, this gives them one hand on the cup. He does. And he does. And he does. Heaps all of this pressure now onto North Moulton. He must score. And it is the, the corner is of the ground is going absolutely Jack, yeah. mental. Jack Moses. A save for Elliot Driver. Gives Spear the cup. A goal for Moses. Sends us to another penalty. Oh. Oh, <laughs> what a <laughs> penalty. Oh. What? Oh, he's, oh, he's, he's, he's going to make it retake it. it. Went it before the whistle. Oh, drama. 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 That's heartbreaking. <laughs> That's truly heartbreaking. Does he do the same thing? Does he go the same way? Well, if he goes the same place... No. It does, huh? And it's safe. Beer Albion. The keeper's oh. off his line. Keeper is off yeah. his line. The keeper is off his line. It's no. not no. all over. No. It's not all over. It's not no. all over. What the keeper is off his line. Have I jinxed it? Talking about keepers coming off their line. I would get off the pitch. Eddie Green's after him. They've not won. It's not won. The keeper is off his line. They're going to have this penalty retaken. <laughs> I think you. It's uh, it's not all over. It's not. It's no goal. It's no goal. We have drama. Tell Fri drama. Someone tell Paul Frizzle that it's, <laughs> it's not. Drama. Frizz, Frizzle, Frizzle, it's not finished. It's not finished. 
<laughs> wow! <laughs> oh, they're setting oh, up just the presentation. Frizz. We've lost frizz, the ball. Just leave it. <laughs> We've got people on the pitch. They think it's all over. It isn't. It isn't. So, so Josh, uh, Jack Moses with a third opportunity. Third, third, attempt. third time. Third attempt. Oh, what's he going to do here? This is crazy. He does. Oh, I tell you what. He's got, he's got character, hasn't he? What yeah. pressure now. Respect. On, uh, on the beer player going up to take this penalty. Number, eight, number 89. Yeah. Jack Moses, what character you have got, young man. Well done. Absolutely Will. well done from everyone here. This is brilliant. So here we go. The substitute, Will House. Will the house bring the house down, down. Yes. here at Coach Road? Will he bring... The barrel of beer down. Wow, he may well. I think it's broken already down there. <laughs> the, ben oh, the bench, is, by the way, the benches are holding firm though. Talking Here about we go. Wow, wow. Will Wait. House? Is he gonna? Is he gonna? Yes, yes! there it is. <laughs> and there's no doubt about that one. No doubt about that one. <laughs> Look, they're all in the corner. This is amazing. This is going to be some. There's going to be some amazing photos here. By this the way. is amazing. This is amazing. Right, let's. Uh, that's that's all right. Yeah. Oh wow! Is wow! Idiot? Wow! Is there an idiot on the pitch? <laughs> Doesn't. To be fair, there's there's enough. Uh, there's enough security. Security and uh, <laughs> Scott's down there. down there. Oh, Scott's down there. Yeah, we've got our. Julie's down there. Maria's down there, trying to talk him out of it. Tony Cloak's down there. Brilliant. That's, that's enough. That's a great security job, guys. Wow! 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 What drama! You couldn't have written that, could you? No, no, no way! Oh, the penalty—it's scored, and then it's saved, and then it's scored because the keeper's off his line. Oh. Scored, saved, scored. Wow! Wow! One wow! Penalty. <laughs> what a game, by the way! Oh, oh! That. What, 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 what an afternoon! Everything we built this final up to yeah. be, those, those delivered, players yeah. have delivered for us, and we thank them for that. They've given this crowd of over 500 here their absolute money's worth. To it. In fact, I think we should charge them all more money. The barrel of beer, I bet, has gone absolutely mental. I mean, Mark Booley is actually thanking the uh, thanking the spectators over there for actually uh, not coming on the pitch. Hashtag beer ball. There is going to be a ball <laughs> in beer tonight. Amazing. I've got goosebumps. I don't know about you, but wow. I, this, it's wow, amazing wow, down wow. here. I tell you what, that's a huge congratulations to North Moulton from uh, the media team here. Yeah. You, you, you played your part in that game. Absolutely played your part in that game. Amazing, amazing scenes here at Coach Road, and I don't think they're finished yet. I think that no. poor, that poor cup, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it gets lifted. Oh, even the emotion, even from the management team. Yeah, love it, love and to the see kids it. in there love and everything as well. No. Well done, Maria. Absolutely brilliant. The referee was amazing. The crowd were amazing. Both teams were amazing. I, I think a perfect day. Perfect day. Great afternoon. Well done, Kim Presswood, for sponsoring this cup. Well done, Elevate, yeah. for allowing us to bring this to you today. And I, I know we've got we've got a couple more, haven't we? Final days, as in the disability and the walking football. But this feels like a real superb way to uh -huh. to end the to, senior to finals, yes, isn't it? To yes. end the senior finals. Let's, let's put it like that. See what the girls can deliver for us tomorrow. I bet there's going to be high drama there as well. The girls' finals are always great. Yeah. What an afternoon.
Is there any point Paul doing the PA? I don't think anyone's going to hear him. No, I don't think so. <laughs> We're going to get complaints from the residents about the noise, but you know, you know what? what? And there's, yeah, and there's no drums. <laughs> yeah, there's no drums, <laughs> but we're still going to get complaints who, about the do noise. Do you know what? Who cares <laughs> <laughs> on that one? No, uh, exactly. So I'm going to, I'm just going to, I'm going to do my, f do the tech cam again. I'm just going to show you what's, uh, what's going on here because there are real scenes here at Coach Road let's just bring you that so you've got all of them supporters down there look at them all down there absolutely bringing the noise here to Coach Road the scarves have been flung if I was Louise in that bar I'd be looking out the window panicking I'd be panicking all the fans now. here are still here as well yeah, yeah absolutely brilliant all of them I'm sure Paul's actually on the PA, but I can't hear him. Oh, I can't even hear him. So here's a presentation to Kim. Just bear with me, guys, one second, and I'll just switch the camera over so you can see the presentation properly. No, 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 no. <laughs> Mark Beauty you crowd control. You, you, you ain't quieting in them. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Just shaking the head. Yeah. Thanks for trying, Mark, but it ain't happening, sunshine. <laughs> oh, I'm buzzing. I am at, ooh, this absolutely is, buzzing. Let this is know. North Moulton fans, by the way, to my left. Chanting. Frizzle, I don't know what he's done. I thought he was done. He seemed like he was the, kid, like he was the orchestrator. Yeah. Yeah. Have, have we got absolutely any idea of play with the match here? Uh, no, I don't think we have. Really don't think we have. Flying blind, we have no idea who play where the match is going to be. Uh, I guess we'll find out in a minute. <laughs> Charlie Skilton player of the match That's not me booing, by the way. Is it not? <laughs> Yet. <laughs> Luke McFarlane. Good game, though, from Luke. He was brilliant. Yeah, he was. He was awesome. Absolutely awesome. Great referee from Luke McFarlane there. Absolutely brilliant. Whoever trained him must be really proud. They've done a great job. Who was that then, Jace? I wonder. <laughs> I wonder. Oh, I know. I can tell. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. Even if I trained them, he'd probably I'll still take get the credit. I'll take so. the credit. <laughs> 
Yeah. Commiserations, follow, follow but it. they fully, you know, fully played their part in what really was an awesome game. So don't forget, Beer Albion play a, a league below. Right. North Bolton. Yeah. I mean, they're going up to the Devon League next year, but, you know, from so Devon next year. They place, will they? Yeah. No, no, absolutely. Brilliant, lads. Well done. And again, thank you for giving us that game. That was awesome. Awesome. I sound like a 12 year old. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Cloak's out there go, doing the video, lad. That's all <laughs> Here we go. Stand by oh, your beds for some that's noise. That's North Moulton supporters who are, who are singing like that. <laughs> right. If we can just... I don't think we're going to get silence here. <laughs> Wow, 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 I don't know if anyone's saying anything, but... Uh, They're all going to the wrong place. <laughs> all I can hear is uh, cheering. <laughs> Can't hear anything else. Don't know if no. Jason's saying anything, Matt saying anything, but what a final. And I'll check you chaps will surely agree, I, and they say that grassroots adult football is dead absolutely not <laughs> what a game what a thoroughly enjoyable afternoon everything about it <laughs> don't move that mate <laughs> right then oh what are you doing he's broken a banner what are they doing I don't know oh, Mark's going to sort it out No, he's not. He's just walking oh, past. You sense a bit of... There's a bit of rivalry, isn't there, between these two clubs? I think there's a, just a rivalry between the supporters, isn't there? Yeah. Right, here we go. So here's the trophy. Cameraman's going to follow him in as well. Two captains again. We had that this morning. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's a new thing. Here we go. Are you ready? This is going to be loud. There it is. <laughs> that poor banner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Barrett, final words to you. Take us out. Oh, what, a, what a thoroughly enjoyable afternoon. Thank you to my two esteemed colleagues. Thank you to everyone in the ground um, and everyone at home for what really was an excellent afternoon. Congratulations to Beer, commiserations to North Moulton, but uh, they, I'm sure they both will look back on it as a thoroughly enjoyable day. Thank you for joining us today. Remember, we've got more tomorrow. We've got three girls' finals. The first one's at 10. Join us for that. If you're not in the ground, we are Facebook and YouTube Live again. But as I said, thank you for joining us, and we'll see you soon. Cheers, all. <laughs>